as well. Only if... Yes. Yeah, you kill them. But you can shoot them. That's okay, just don't shoot the knights. Why do you have a bow? I'm thinking about getting one, but I want to know the rules. I should have known, I would know the rules of a knight. You, right? Yeah, you're not going to shoot anybody with a bow. Monsters, okay. monsters, and... Um, monsters and hunting, when you're hunting. If somebody right? has the high ground on you and they're firing on you with bows and you don't have an option, I would see... Yeah, as, as Abs absolutely. Yeah. Like if there's like if they're manning a castle or something, you might have a row of retainers with bows shooting. You wouldn't be in that line shooting back. Yeah, hopefully you would be in command scenario, of them. We would have a group of, of archers to right. say fire on that spot. That's if right. Not, if if you picked up the bow, then you're saying that you're not. Um, you're a citizen soldier. We'll say that you're you're a you're a you're a less than. I might live longer as a citizen soldier. <laughs> That's okay though. I mean, it it's it's interpretable. There's no real rules. You know, there's no there's no written document saying follow these rules. It's all based on culture and and word of mouth and training and. Nevin, Sir Nevin, who raised you, did not raise you to learn how to use a bow. No. Right? Because he doesn't know how to use a bow. He can, I mean, he can, he knows how to use a bow. He can go out and he can, he can shoot a deer half the time. But he's not going to do that. He has people to do that for him. He doesn't go, he, 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 hunting is a sport right so so he would he would use a hawk or something and dogs you know it's a big hawk that could bring down a deer <laughs> yeah but he's got a manor and we don't right so well we're gonna, it's we're it's, gonna have to scrounge for our food <laughs> he's he's gonna use the hawk to hunt but like a also, squirrel or something with saw dogs a picture of the uh of the thing in the pit for some reason Raynard wants to go pet <laughs> Right, and I heard a while I was while I was away in the in the toilet, I uh, I heard you say, "Is this a game that is forgiving, or you know, if you run in and attack and uh, do something stupid and you get killed?" Okay, this this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna say to you. I don't want to kill you guys. First of all, that's not my goal. My goal is not to kill you. I'm trying to. My goal is to tell a epic story. That's that's my first goal. But I also want to make it challenging and difficult and not easy for you just to we're not just reading a book, right? You got to you got to go through it and and do things challenging. So if you put yourself in a in a fight, I'm not going to do everything in my power to kill you. That's not that's not my goal. But I don't have a problem doing that. Because if it's not deadly, then it's not challenging. And so, uh, yeah, now that's here, why I don't play fifth edition because I, I don't feel like it's a challenge. I feel it's, like it's, it's not. It's not. It's super easy. But if you, uh, but just think of this. Just just visualize this in reality, right? You're in, you're in medieval England. And, and it is the 1200s, approximately, let's say. Okay. And, you're, and you're a knight. Maybe there's five of you. There's five knights. You're on the road. You're out in a big wheat field. And smog lands at your feet. Are you guys going to be able to kill him? I doubt it. There is no way in hell five knights are going to kill a freaking dragon. Right? Now, now, back up. Smog, I would consider to be like this super old, ancient, venerable dragon that's had many, many years to grow and become as big as he is. But if you take a dragon and you shrink it down to maybe the size of 
a two-story house. You know, that's a small dragon. Think about it. You're standing in front of a two-story house with a sword. Are you going to be able to kill that dragon? Well, I don't know enough about the setting. Of I'm telling you re reality. Do you think you'd be able to kill that dragon? No, but... Exactly. That's, that's this, that's this game. I don't... I haven't, like, read the stats, but I've flipped through the bestiary and seen dragons, and they were quite small. So, you know, in different fantasy settings, dragon means something different. It could be... If you, if you looked in the bestiary, if you looked in the bestiary, then um, oh, you I did your... Okay, but I'm just saying you've done yourself a disservice because those numbers are all very small. And so when you when you when I when I present any kind of creature to you, I'm going to try to I'm going to, it doesn't mean I'm going to succeed, but I'm going to try to emote to you the the seriousness of the situation. Right? So if you go fight a sea serpent and you're standing on a dinghy for two people, you just think about it. Is that going to happen? Well, no. Even in this game, fighting multiple people would be a huge mistake on our part. So, um, that, well, you know. I mean, you fought four wolves. <laughs> But we didn't have a choice at that point, for the most part. They were going to get us after the kid anyway. We were we were in a bad position, so. But, yeah. No, I'm just saying. For you, you went in to save the kid, and four wolves was on one person. It might have been deadly. Yeah. But there was there was at least four knights fighting back. So. Okay, so, I just 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 imagine. Um, this, this, uh, what's this creature called? The, the Mara or the, whatever it is. Mara. The Morath. Do I have it under bestiary? Hold on. Morath, yeah. Looks like uh, a really sick rust monster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, and you don't know how big it is. That picture yeah. doesn't doesn't really tell you how big it is, right? Watch it be only this big. <laughs> yeah, if it's the size of a dog, I think we're good. We're good to go. If it's the size of a, you're probably right. Yeah, in in, in my if, if I saw if I saw like this crazy like giant spider come into my house that was uh, six feet across. I don't. I think I would run like a like a lunatic out the door. <laughs> Even though I've got like swords all over the place, I'm not going to grab one. I'm going to be like, ah. <laughs> but but I'm not a knight in full armor and all that. And and I haven't lived in a world that has that kind of thing, you know, as a normal thing. Okay, so let me go. Let me go ahead and uh, start this episode by saying you guys just we're gonna we're gonna start with a recap um and and this is gonna be very quick it's gonna be a quick recap um it's the 20th and let's that's where we're gonna start that was my recap no i'm kidding um it, the game ended at the end of the 20th the 20th was the closing ceremonies where all the everybody we kind of we kind of rapidly rushed through it, but basically it is where uh, Sir Emmett's name was cleared during the trial of the nineteenth. Okay, uh, and then by the twentieth, which is a whole day later, by that evening the closing ceremonies was over. The prizes were given out. Uh, Sir Emmett and um, his his lady, I want to say Leona, but that's not her name. Morella. <laughs> they uh, they um, they haven't hitched, but they pretty much um, come to come to a, an agreement with the father that they're going to get married and they're setting a date, uh, and you guys will all be invited to come attend the wedding and all that once they get the exact date. He's actually was inducted. Uh, actually, about five of the contestants 
were inducted into the Royal Guard. Um, Sir Ordrin was arrested. Uh, Bernier made a new friend in Fiona, right? And she wants to see you here at the tournament next year because at that point uh, you'll be able to spend more time together and then you can find out if you're the, a perfect match. Okay, um, Carla was found dead, killed by Gorion. Uh, and that's the evidence that you, you, through that, you discovered the knife and the hat. And you, uh, with that information, you uh, clear, help clear Emmett's name. Uh, you, through that process, you also discover that Tanar, uh, the innkeeper of the Amber Inn, is a part of the Thieves Guild. And and that's it. So it is the night of the 20th. Uh, and you guys are free to... Um, there's no, there's no tents. All the, 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 um, marshals and the, 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 a lot of laborers, uh, in town have taken down or are in the process of disassembling the tourney accoutrements. Uh, and everybody's packed up their tents and campgrounds and, you know, in their, you know, their, their, their stuff, and they're getting ready to leave and go home, you know, spread to the four winds, uh, going back to their their places of residence. And you guys are pretty much free to do whatever you want, un but unfortunately it is dark, it is nighttime, and it is time to maybe, uh, there's no tent, you don't own a tent. I mean, you can sleep out under the stars if you want, but... Uh, it would be best to probably approach one of the three inns and actually uh, have an opportunity to uh, to um, get your own, uh, what do you call it? Like, get some place to stay. <clears throat> All right, so what do you want to do? I have a quick question regarding okay. our lances. Yep. Um, those are worth 120 drams each. We have three of them. We okay, you were them. right. You were offered to sell them back. Oh, okay. Did we? Yeah. If you, uh, yeah, most people did. If you, if you didn't, that's fine. You can do it now. <clears throat> so it was basically you get all your money back, 100 percent, if you want. And they were what 40 each or something like that. That's 40. Yeah, so you can get you can get all that back. Forty silver each. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Absolutely. Because as soon as you as soon as you realized you weren't going to be in the tourney, and there were there were other knights or the heralds themselves were realizing they might have been getting short on uh, lances that they would be willing to purchase them from you because um, you only turn in three, right? That's what, but some, some knights uh, show off how powerful they are by bringing like a dozen or whatever. <clears throat> but what they'll do is uh, they'll joust, they'll break all three of their lances, but now they've won, right? So they've got to go, they got to continue to joust and that means more lances are being used up than were initially. If it's if everybody only brought three, they would run out. <clears throat> but you brought extras and made made your money back, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. Okay, so um, yeah, so I should have just a second. Let me click on this map. I uh, should be map layer. Yes. Is there a separate calendar that, aside from, actually, I think I have one in my 
There you go. Check now, now check out the North Common. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's empty. Like, yeah, there, it's there's still a bunch of stuff up there. It's stacked in piles and stuff like that. They're packing everything up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so is there an inn you wanted to go to? Did you want to go to the Calden Castle, or did you want to go to the Bear? Uh, what was it called? Yeah, look at all this. Um, I'm missing. Oh, it's a little gnat or something. Yeah. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, I didn't. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Maybe I don't see what the heck's going on. Let's go put it to the front. There we go. Do you guys remember the difference between lay mass and, and high mass? Yes. Well, I knew you would. I didn't want to yeah. interrupt what you were doing. I know Mason knows. Right. The high mass is just for the clergy. Okay, so we would go to the lay masses. I was just looking at the yes. calendar trying to figure. We got a, it's the night of the 20th though, right? Yeah, it's that's over with. Okay. And the mass would have been held uh, or some prayers would have been done at the closing ceremonies. That would have been considered your, your, uh, you know, everybody would have kneeled and prayed for five minutes or whatever, and then that would have been the end. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> masses on the fives, that's all we've really got to, I guess, mostly. That's right. Um, the Standing Bear, that's the other one. Okay, so you got uh, the Calden Castle is this one, the Standing Bear is this one, and the Amber Inn is this one. Is there one that you want to approach or go to? Or? Uh, I think you want to try the Standing Bear, guys? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, okay. we would go there. So, Sir Emmett and Ronald are gone. Like yeah, er, er, everybody's gone. You are all okay. by yourselves. Yeah, well, they're not gone. He, uh, he's still in town. He, um, and there are, everybody's le in the process of leaving. They're not, not everybody's completely gone. I mean, there's still 800 plus people in this, in this town. But, uh, yeah, so Sir Emmett and, uh, his his woman is not staying here. They're not actually married. So she and her father are going back home until the wedding. But he is staying here, probably in the castle. But other than that, the queen, uh, she's gone. You haven't seen her. The king never showed up. Um, the The... The uh, constable, or what do they call him? I think he's called the constable, uh, is the uh, lord of Olokan. Yeah, he's... Uh, Sir Malden. Sir Malden, yeah. He's the... He's the... Um, He's here, obviously. Oh, 
All right, so you guys are heading over to the Standing Bear. Yes. Yep. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. Uh, when you go in, I'm going to give you this. Give you a little perspective of what you see when you go in. Uh, it's you know it's very similar, but different. Yeah, uh, you'll notice there is. Uh, in the second room in the back, you can see steps going up. Uh, that goes up to the top floor where there is um, the rooms. Uh, and then you'll also see a fairly sizable double door on the left side. That goes directly into the kitchen. Um, you guys wouldn't be using that door, obviously. All right, so... Let's go ahead and I think I think you were able to go in here at one point and meet a bard who was singing in here. No, that's Tenar. That's the wrong one. This is the innkeeper. Haslin. Okay, so when you guys go in to... Okay, I got a message. Hang on. No, nope. okay. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see, said the blind man. There we go. I full screened the wrong thing and it was messing everything up. And this is number eight on my, um, yep, number eight, the Standing Bear. Uh, out of five stars, it has a four-star rating, <laughs> just so you know. It has a lot of employees. You'll see that there are, there's almost one waitress per table, almost, and, uh, Yeah, so Haslin comes up to your uh, table. Hello. My name's Haslin. If you have a horse, you can speak to my free master, Osler Naradin of Othendel. He's an expert horse healer. So if you have any uh, wounded horses or if you need uh, if you have you need a birthing or something you can talk to him he's he's very good and he can he can save animals that others claim to be unsavable what can I get for you today I'll take a mug of ale okay. and, a, and a little bit of information if you that would be yeah. uh, how many uh, mugs? Is that going to uh, be I'll one for everyone? Yeah, one for everyone. Okay, that's that's going to be uh, six farthings. Okay, three silver. No, one and a half. Okay, one and a half silver. And if you have to, he's got a knife that can cut your silver in two right now. I actually did crack some of mine. Okay. So you got a few, got a few some. pieces of uh, silver. Yeah, because uh, um, there is no coin that's a farthing. It is actually a silver piece that's been cut. Like a pieces of eight. I guess. Exactly like that. 
Except only four. They're quarters, basically. All right, so um, I will be back, and I'll get Lizette to uh, to um, bring the drinks out, and then he disappears into the back. Okay. And you guys are free to sit and talk while you wait for Lizette. Do we recognize any other patrons? Oh. Um. Maybe, maybe, maybe there is a few um, town guard that are in here. There might that you might recognize some of them. You might recognize one of the knights was in the tournament and he was eliminated early on. You know, but no, it's not. It's the you you pretty much. Haven't really met anybody in this town. That would that would that would go to the Standing Bear. I mean, if you went to the Amber Inn, you probably would know a lot of people there. Which is actually why I wanted to suggest that one, but then I remembered the gaps in the floors and walls. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, Lisette, where are you at? I'm sure I'll find her at some point. Ah, okay, hold on. There we are. That is your innkeeper, in in uh, your 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 waitress. That's what I meant. I love now that the the handouts and the characters have their own button. You don't have to select add and then choose. I can just click on handout. And it won't let me type. What the heck? Do we need to see the innkeep for getting a room for the night? Or will the, the bar well, maybe? Well, you that? can talk to the waitress. Yeah. And that's the... Uh, that's no bigger than the handout. Okay. Yeah, so she brings your drinks to your table, you know, puts them down so that you can all uh, partake in them. And uh, were you, I, I overheard you saying that you were interested, you're not sure who to ask about a room. I can take yeah. care of that for you. Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. What are the uh, accommodations like here? I mean, well, do the three of us get a room? They're all furnished. Um, they're there are individual rooms okay yeah they have unless you want to sleep on the same bed there are uh there are individual rooms i could probably sleep sideways in one of the beds i bet you could <laughs> how um, much is a room for the night if you have to ask you can't afford it no um <laughs> she doesn't say it it's not much, actually. It might be somewhere in the neighborhood of one to a million silver. Okay, hang on. I have to look it up because their prices are not normal. Um, I might have a handout.
Of course, it's not. If I did, I can't find it. I'm gonna give me a second. Uh, that's 10 silver a night per person. Okay. Uh, how many nights would you be staying? You don't, you, you can, you can pay by the night. That's fine. Uh, but, uh, we will expect a checkout if you, you know, if you don't pay for the following night at noon. Got a noon checkout. <laughs> oh, and it's well furnished. Uh, there, there's bed with mattresses and blankets and pillows, and you have a wash basin and uh, a dresser drawer. And a and more importantly, you can lock your door. Well, I don't know if that's more important to you guys, but to some people that's important. You guys want to spend the night here? Um, and then Hazlin comes over to the table and says... So is Lisette taking care of you guys? Okay, yes, good. It's great. Excellent. I'm I'm glad to hear it. Lisette, you know, uh, keep up the good work. And then he goes and looks at some talks to somebody else in another table. And she's like, Are you guys eating? Uh, or you just getting a room? Well, you guys don't you guys don't need to eat. Not, not, not tonight, because the closing ceremonies, there were some finger foods, and that, that took care of you for the rest of the day. Well, I think we should get a room, then. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, one for each of you. That would be 30 silver. Right, are you, is one person paying, or are, are you each paying for your own room, or how do you want to do this? I'll pay for mine. I'll pay for mine. Okay. So she takes the money. What? Three or 30? 30 total. Ten it's per it's roll. 10 per night. Oh, okay. I thought it was 30 when I was like, oh my God. Yeah, 30 okay. people. So, I mean, th three people, that's 30. So you're paying, everybody's paying for their own? Yeah. She goes, yeah. okay, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back with the keys. She disappears into the kitchen, and then she comes back with three keys. And these keys are like six inches long, made of brass. I mean, they're pretty big monster. They look like skeleton keys. You know, they're big keys. And they, they do have... Um, a number etched into them. Uh, they look professionally like cast, like somebody made a somebody made a mold and poured bronze into it and cast it. But each one has a number cut in into that mold. So and that looks like it was done by hand. And you guys are not in adjoining rooms. You guys are in like three and seven and twelve. There, there is something like 16 rooms upstairs. Um, if And she goes, just through that door right there in the back room. That's where the stairs go up to your room. I'm sure that okay. you can figure it out. You can just match the a symbol on the key to the symbol on the door. And that's for those of you that don't know your numbers. She looks at you, Bernier. I don't know my numbers. You can count, but you don't know what you can't read. Okay. <laughs> so you can match the symbol. Oh, this looks like a, a room seven. 
So somebody who's illiterate can't can't count their can't write down their money. Okay. Can't write anything. All right. Or you would be illiterate. You would have at least five percent. Which everybody's got at least five percent, right? But yeah. So um yeah, you guys can are you guys eating food or heading up to your room, killing the day and then starting tomorrow in a fresh day, or what do you want to do? That's me asking. Um There's not really a whole lot it's, this place is not banging or bouncing. This this is like an after party wound everybody's winding down. The, there's only a handful of people here and they're they're not you know it's after the celebration uh the whole tourney festivities is all over with it's back to normal basically you guys want to go to the pit no um <laughs> nighttime was think. good a time as any right okay yeah well, Spe especially if you don't have any torches Maybe tomorrow night. I mean, if I'm going to die, I don't want to have already paid for the room. <laughs> Place to put my corpse in the night. That's right. Were we going to go, as were we going to go see the mercenary tomorrow? Was that the plan? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, Something to do with a merchant missing his shipment? Right. I think that was our plan all along last, last time we played. So... Yeah, you can definitely can do that. Well, but yeah, I, for... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, for tonight, I don't have anything I want to do. So I would just head up to bed. Yeah. And I'll lock the door, seeing it cost me eight silver pieces for that door, door lock. <laughs> the, um... I mean, there are ladies of the evening, you know, and they're probably they're probably unemployed right now. With everybody leaving the town. Okay, so... <laughs> so you guys um, head to bed, right? Turn in early so you can get up early. And uh, do you guys want any kind of... Uh, do you have any special requests for breakfast? Before you go to bed, she, Lisette's asking you. Normally what we have is like... Uh, Ham and uh, bread and um, more ham and eggs and bread and ale. Sounds good. But if you have a special request for something, we can make sure the chef cooks that for you. No? So you're happy with the, uh, with the continental breakfast? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then, uh, is do you guys have a any? Do you have a wake up time or anything like that, or do you just want to get up on your own because you guys are feeling manly? I think we get up on our own because you we've do done it every day since. Absolutely, you I, you get up to do your chores and right. you're like, wait a second, I don't have any. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So you guys can uh, take care of yourselves. Perfect. That's less work for me. And <clears throat> okay. So you guys go head on upstairs. You find your rooms. Again, they're not adjacent. They're like one, you had to go around a corner to get to it. The other two are on the same hallway. You find it. It's a beautiful room. It's clean. It's uh, there's, a, there's a little piece of chocolate on your pillow. No, it's not that. It's not like that. But there is there is a uh, water in a pitcher, and there is a wash basin, a towel. There's a bed with blankets, and uh, there's a mattress. You're not laying on a wooden pallet, which you're normally used to. Um, and there is a there's a window so you can open the window and see out into the into the courtyard. Um, there is uh, three or four buildings in this compound. I'm going to bring you back to the world map. Okay, uh, three buildings. Uh, the standing bear has like a stable and um, 
Uh, there's another building in the south. It doesn't look like it's owned by the standing bear. It looks like the, the fence is just attached to it. Um, and you go to sleep. And the the how how are your windows? Are you shut? Remember, this is summer. Are you shuttering them, or you can because there are shutters, or you can leave them open. There's no glass. It's hot. My windows open. Yeah, same here. I would think so because, like you said, it's it's not hot at night, but uh, but the wind makes it even more comfortable. And I'm gonna uh, leave mine closed. I'm afraid of burglars. Yes, you are, Mister Paranoid. I got you. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't booby trap the the door and the window. Um, we should do that with caltrips on the floor, so when they come in, they step on the caltrips. And no, okay, so. Uh, before you have a chance to uh, splash water on your face, you're all basically getting up. The, the sun is low on the horizon, shooting in through the window of two of you. The other one's not because his window is closed. But the, uh, the sun is shooting in. It woke you up. You, you basically rolling out of bed, splashing water from your wash basin on your face when... Uh, you get a, everybody make an aura roll. Aura. Yeah, you just go to aura and just click it. I just want to see what your numbers are. Uh, multiplier three? Yep, it's always three unless otherwise. Okay. Okay, Gaimar, you get a knock on your door. Tick, 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 tick. And you hear oh. someone outside say, Sir Gaimar? I will. They obviously know that you're in there. Or they yeah, they know what room you're in. Go to the door. Okay. Have have uh, my dagger behind my back just in case. Okay. And uh, open the door. And... This is Sir Gaimar. How? how... You, you step back and cross your arms. <laughs> I'm a little confused on how they knew I was here, but I guess I didn't ask to be kept, it be kept secret. So how can I help you? Okay, the first thing you notice is there is a gentleman standing in, in the hallway. He is armed. Uh, he has... Uh, he's wearing some, like... Sturdy. Okay, Sir Price, you can just stop doing that to my monitor. Um, you, you, um, he's wearing some sturdy stout leather armor under a surcoat, and he's got a sword, obviously. And he says, um, You and your brothers are requested at it, uh, at the car, uh, the care, or the sair, or whatever, however you pronounce it. The castle. Uh, right, right. Um, to see the king? Who, who, who calls us? Oh, the, the sheriff of Mezzaline and constable of Olacon Castle, Sir Malden Haribor. But it's not, um, but you won't be seeing him. You'll be, you'll be seeing me. <laughs> On his behalf. Okay. Correct. And I'm, when... I'm his, there's a word for it. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's bailiff. Yep. I'm his bailiff. Ambranus. Ambranus. Ambr. Okay, Ambarnis. <laughs> he doesn't even know his name. 
uh, my name, it. my name is, I'm the Bayless of Ambarnas. My name is Sir Jordat Odisart. Is that random or what? No. My name is Sir Jordat. Jor, Jorat. Jor, okay, I'm just going to copy and paste it. And what time would you like us to call Sir Jorat? Oh, there's no rush. You have your breakfast. Get your get your brothers together. Um, but this is very important, and it is urgent. But it's not an emer It's not like come running with me right now. Okay. Yeah, but um, but the sooner that we can get, the sooner we can depart, the better. I will. In the morning, speaking with my brothers at breakfast, and uh, I'm sure uh, we'll be on our way to see you right after that. Okay, sounds good. Um, I just wanted to catch you before you left the town, because I didn't know if you were going to go back home to um, Fringeworthy, or wherever it is. Uh, Roganter. No. <laughs> right. No. Roganter. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then he says, okay, so um, so you're going to get your brothers? I don't need to go to their rooms? Uh, you can if you'd like, but uh, I can catch them in the morning and let them know that I spoke with you this evening and that we're requested to see you. Okay, that sounds very good. That'll give me an opportunity to get the wagons ready. I'll, um, I'll see you in just a minute. And then he takes off and goes back downstairs. I have convinced he might be insane so i'm just <laughs> not gonna half not, i uh, mean you know okay so what um a, a bailiff it would be like a deputy essentially yes like okay well he's he's kind of okay the sh the the sheriff is not what you might think from the U.S. He's a Shire Reeve, which means he, the Shire, which is a territory in the, in the kingdom, has someone that manages the finances, and that's the Reeve. And so he's the, the sheriff is a Shire Reeve, not just a town. A, a town Reeve would just be called the Reeve. And the bailiff is what you would think of as a sheriff uh, or a deputy to the sheriff. You know, he's basically a, a, one of his minions, <laughs> but more of a think of him kind of like a tax collector. He he's more of a He's more of the, a, a bailiff is somebody that you would send to get something taken care of. The, sh the sheriff wouldn't do that. He's not going to go, that's beneath him. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so are you going to get, get dressed and... I assume everyone else is getting up because the sun's in your face. Uh -huh. And, you know, um, and luckily you got up about the same time that he got up because, but you were woken up naturally where he was woken up by knocking on his door. But you all are awake. You can smell the ham cooking downstairs. You can smell the fresh bread. And uh, you guys make your way along with the other three in in stairs there there all six of you go downstairs and uh remember there's 16 rooms but you go downstairs uh and attend the breakfast and you you can have your you could pretty much have your own table but no i i assume you guys sit at your own together mm -hmm. yep I and then you can share with them your uh what just happened i think uh we wear everything right so we can just leave from breakfast he didn't say anything. I haven't heard any I mean, role playing. Uh oh, 
Yeah. Uh, I heard some brother, like, I tell you this. That's not the same thing as telling them this. Were you visited by uh, Sir Jorat last evening? I, I don't think he, he came to your doors. He, no. he knocked on mine. Uninterrupted until just breakfast. Nobody came. I'll, t I'll tell them of uh, uh, the bailiff's invitation to... That's attend. narrating. That's narrating. Tell attend, them. Uh, um, yeah, the strange man knocked on my door, said that he wanted to speak with us in preparation for some journey and that he had horses and carts ready, I believe he said. So um, you probably should... At the very least, go see what this man wants from us at the castle. I think that's a good idea. Um, I certainly don't want to work for free. I mean, it costs 10 silvers for one night at the inn. <laughs> We're going to have to sleep outside with a, get ourselves a cheap tent or whatever. We'll be out of money in just about 10 days. So, that's right. Yeah. You know, and that's a good point. Maybe if he does want us, maybe we either asked to be outfitted or to be uh, fronted well, we some money so that we can pick up gear. For sure we need to know if there's, uh, if, there's if room and board is, is, is there and if there's payment at the end. That, that would be wonderful. Yeah, that would board. be, that would be wonderful. <laughs> or you'll just payment, do as he says. We're not his knights, so that's right. Unless we're under house arrest. I that's would. right. But we could do that. What do you think, Rainer? Big bucks? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, they came asking for us apparently by name. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think maybe we made a good impression by doing uh, what we did for Sir Emmett. Yeah. And. The, the, this is this is what we wanted. We're we're getting our name out there. We're getting you know work. Great. We didn't even have to take you know years of fighting for it. Let's try. Right. That's correct. Either that or we're the last. Last uh, <laughs> pig in the shop. La the last, <laughs> the last on the list or last left in town. That's also mm. possible. But uh, I like I like my suggestion better. It makes us feel, you know, not lame. Well, I think the sooner we show up, the better. So. Okay, so after breakfast, eating your fill, um, as and it's included with the breakfast is actually included in the room. Um, are you checking out? Is what Lisette asks. Yeah. Okay, then she'll yeah. co she'll collect the keys, right? And uh, yeah, if. It, it apparently, you know, the, if you need another room, uh, you can always come back. We, you guys are very welcome. Um, I uh, appreciate you not tearing the place up. Thank you, Lizette. Wouldn't dream of it. And then you head over to the um, the castle. Yeah. And there are a couple of guards at the door, uh, the, what you call it, the, the, the porcullis door, and it's open, and uh, they say, you guys are welcome to come on in. Can you tell us where the bailiff is? And Please. he's, he's standing in, he points, and oh, he's standing, okay. he's standing in the center of the castle. Uh, with two wagons, and uh, four people are working on the wagons and the horses. Uh, they look like laborers, servants, or something. Uh, and he says, "Oh," and he he puts his hand up and waves you over, like he catches wind that you're there. Are the wagons covered, or are they open? The they. Yeah, it's not Wild West. It's, yeah, is it, they're just flat beds. Uh, but we see what's in the wagons? They're flat beds. Yeah, they don't even have walls. What, what, 
what's being put what's what's being transported nothing there's nothing empty wagons okay that yeah from what you can see they're empty wagons okay yeah yeah they they're not uh like full of equipment or anything like that no okay i think i went too far they're pulled by horses are the teams of horses on the wagons or is it oxen they're horses but okay. um you would have to do uh like you would have to make a skill test to see exactly you know how healthy they are or how strong they sense. are uh, but they're 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 definitely a type of horse. Okay. They're not they're not like um, they're not a ri they're not riding horses and they're not like strong war they they look strong, like but they're like a draft horse. Mm -hmm. uh, and you when you approach him, he's yeah. like, oh, I'm glad I'm glad you made it. Um. And he's looking through a scroll, trying to find something. <laughs> Give me a second. I think I just f flew right past it. Is what the problem was. Uh, like, okay, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, I'm in the right area. Hang on. Do do do. I have a feeling. Ah, here we are. Hold on. He goes, I have a job for you. Um, but I'm not going to get into the details until I find what I'm looking for. Okay. Must be a big scroll. Yeah, it's 166 pages. <laughs> That's a big long scroll. <laughs> it might uh, might take a while to scroll through it. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's one of those with the handles on the ends of the two rolls. That's a pretty sizable thing. Okay. That's the that's an option. Over here searching the Torah. So it could be fifty. Hmm. That's month. Okay. Hmm. I love how you get to somewhere and then it says, oh, I'll tell you everything about it except for the one thing that you're looking for, and that's in another section. So I'm going to that other section, which might be right here, but it's not. I knew this was coming. I should have had this looked up earlier.
I was like, oh, I'll be able to find it. It's, I don't need to jot anything down. I'll just go straight to the page and I'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll we'll do that. That looks that looks good. I'll have to do so. I'll have to do some math, but we'll hold that page open. Okay, so um, I I appreciate you coming as fast as you came. Um, do you, did you bring everything that you are going to need on this expedi exposition? You don't know. You didn't know what you were going to need, but. I assume that you have everything with you that you own because you were probably going to be heading back home. We are not heading home and we haven't agreed to go on your expedition yet. You need to explain yourself first. Well, I understand. I understand that you haven't agreed, but you have everything you need. Is that it right? It depends on what the expedition is and what, whether we need to get rations. Yeah, we things could. Things like that. We, we aren't know, sure yeah. what we, what's going on. We could outfit ourselves more, depending on where we're where we might be needed. Oh, there's no time for any of that. That, but let me let me tell you. Okay, first thing I want to point out is uh, you can see a cloud forming overhead in in the in the um, uh, the weather. The it. it it's like a, a large rain cloud jet as he began speaking just covered the sun um okay the 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 sheriff uh sir malden is uh he had received word from a local chapter of the Miners Guild that the Amber Mine, located near the village of Loban, has been temporarily closed due to a mysterious outbreak of violence. Several murders have occurred. Uh, And uh, we've also received word from some merchants that have traveled along the Fur Road, which travels through Loban, uh, has indicated that the violence has spread to the village of Loban itself. Um, now, a written request for information from Sir Cathal de Zoller, who is the Lord of the Manor, uh, a written re request for information from him was sent almost a month ago, before the tournament, and he has not answered. Uh, Sir Cathal de Zoller normally attends tournaments in this area. Uh, he's a he's an avid tournament goer, if you will. And he did not come to this this year's uh, King's Tournament. So Sir Malden is concerned and he's anxious to see that the mine is reopened before his lord, the king, starts asking some embarrassing questions. Um, and he's also worried that Loban's annual feudal obligation 
namely 100 bushels of rye, have not been delivered. Harvest time has passed, and this debt has always been delivered by this time in past years. So as you can see, there's a concern. There's multiple things happening. Um, but it all might be related. And with you, uh, with your, with your ability to uncover uh, the truth in situations, Sir Malden felt I should ask you to accompany these men, and he points to the four guys with the wagons, to ensure their safety, but also uh, so you can so you can find out what's going on um, at the Lobon Manor, resolve any difficulties, and then return to Olokan Castle with a report and the rye. Uh, these wagons are going so that you can bring back the 100 bushels of rye. And uh, so what say you? I assume these gentlemen are, are uh, skilled at hauling rye and understanding the yeah, they, they, they know how to drive the wagon, and they're good, strong men. They can load the rye. You don't have to do any of that. So they, but they're prepared for the, for the shipment. Yeah, they, they, they know what they're looking for. They know what they're looking for. How far is it to Loban Manor? About two and a half to three hours. Okay. And he, unsc he unscrolls a piece of paper and hands it to you, Bernier. Uh, it's a handout. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, or is it? mystery. <laughs> is it lore? No. I don't know. Messages? No. I would think it would be considered a map. Oh, here it is. It is a map handout. Did that pop up for you? Yeah. Not yet. Mason said yes. Not for me. No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Sir Durant, what sort of yes. authority do we have in this matter? Do we, Will we have a letter a showing our authority to question people and, and so that there's no confusion? on our appearance in this town and, and people will cooperate with us. I don't, I'm trying, I don't know what it might no, be called. No, no, you're, you know. uh, yes, there is something called a, a letter of introduction. Yeah, but there's also everyone, everyone that's anyone has a piece of paper that they carry on them at all times and it's called their identification papers. No, I, but I mean that we're we are essentially emissaries of. Right, right, and that's why of, he would give you a letter sheriff. of a. That's why he would give you okay. a letter of introduction. Absolutely, because everybody has who they are, but that doesn't say you know that you have any authority. Right. Right. So he will. Hey, he will give you. Or the sheriff will have your head. Exactly, but it's it does not worded like that. But it does say that um, your three names are on this paper, and it says that you have authority uh, to investigate why the rye has not been delivered, and also why the mine was closed, and you have authority to. Um, take action to reopen the mine and to collect the rye 
and bring it back to Olakon uh, as per the sheriff of the, the mezzanine, no, uh, mezzanine, the sheriff of mezzanine. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the world map. No, I'm not. I'm going to take you back to the world map. And if you look down at Olacon, and if you see these gray letters off to the left side, right there, that's the Mezzaline Shire. It is very big. Um, that's printed in the center of it. You can see that Mezzaline Shire is here as well. And you can see the border to the Mezzaline Shire is right there. Which I think is the Shem River. But below the Cald, that's Sesmil, Sesmithshire or whatever. So everything north of Olakon and pretty much everything north to the edge of the kingdom, that's the Mezzaline Shire. And the, the guy at Olakon is in charge of all that territory. And on this map, you can see Loban is right there. That's oh. where I'm actually from. Exactly. It's a homecoming. That's your, that's your, you haven't been there in many years, but yes, that is, that's where you were there when you were 12. Okay, so let's go back to... So do we, we expect that these four men and the three of us will have lodgings when we get there and uh, food and drink? Otherwise, we, okay. should, we should buy tents. Or is there... Or like, uh, like revolutionary soldiers, can we go into somebody's private home and say, hey, you got to put us up. We'll, well, we'll give you money. You yeah. can yeah. you can do that. Um, there should be an inn in that small town. Uh, and also there's a manor house. So you can talk to the Lord. So it's your choice, however you want to do it. The, the, um, the, the um these laborers uh which is he points and he goes that's our rajat waltkin and arsult those are your those are your um wagon wagoneers and uh they'll stay with the wagon so wherever you decide to park the wagon is where they're going to park their butts are they adult men they are adult men. What sort of recompense was does the sheriff uh, typically pay for these sorts of this sort of assistance? Well, they are getting paid um, nothing, um, but you, it's part of their. Um, actually, they're getting paid something like three silver a day, something like that, uh, which is basically nothing but um you would normally be getting paid about 144 silver a month so if you'd like an advance on that i don't anticipate this taking more than a few days so maybe like 50 silver yeah, and then if it does wind up taking you a month, which let's hope it doesn't, um, you'll you'll receive your full 144, whatever the difference is when you get back. And if you get back earlier, we're not going to deduct or make you repay. Just 
just take the 50 silver and and use that as as uh, uh, like an advance so they pay us ahead of time to go solve this 50 silver each Uh, and that's because that's because you are skilled warriors. You are equipped to handle this, and uh, and you understand the the sensitivity of the issue. Where if we were to ask them, they 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 wouldn't know what to do. They can't even read. Imagine that. <laughs> wow, some no real problem. dunces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know what's going on. There's been a number of murders. Uh, and the only thing I know is the Miners Guild said that they closed, they were forced to close the mine because of the murders at the mine or the killings or whatever was happening at the mine and on that map i gave you it should show the alba mine on there uh double checking yeah the alba mine right um and from olukan to loban is less than three hours okay so yeah it's not that far so when you guys depart you'll probably get there around noon maybe even before that in this year and the sheriff hasn't sent anyone previous to us is that correct we've only sent a messenger okay to to get uh the knight that's there uh sir cathel to respond and he hasn't done this he has no response and if you if let's say you go there i'm just gonna go to some extreme let's and hopefully this is not what happens but if you go there and he's got his little manor all locked up and when you approach you know he's got his yeoman up on the walls shooting arrows at you or something saying that he refuses to give up the rye or something like that and and you come back with a with a report we'll we'll send some we'll send a, a, a sizable faction to take care of him that's not what i'm asking you guys to do i don't want you to like try to storm the castle or whatever um but if you get there and the town is a ghost town i want you to figure out you know what's going on why is it why were all these murders happening you know, just fig figure out what's going on, report back, and if you feel like you have it within your power to resolve the issue, there might be a bonus involved. I'll have to get Sir Malden to to just to, to organize that, but I would I would suspect he has in the past, if he's pleased, his his pockets tend to be open. Make sure water skins are full yeah i mean you can yeah well you guys can ride in the back of the wagon if you want okay yeah because they're empty on the way back you can sit on top of the rye i don't care <laughs> a bushel of rye is a lot like a think of it like four foot grass stalks um in a with a rope wrapped around it you know like a i don't know like a christmas tree and they're going to throw a hundred of these in the back of these things back of the wagon stacking them up so you'll be sitting on a bunch of like wheat is what it'll feel like hey right or you can walk because it's only an hour and a half or three hours it's, a, it's actually under three hours, but he says three hours because he can't do math. <laughs> it's actually 2.8 hours. <laughs> but 
but okay. So you guys ready? All you got to do is let these guys know because they're ready. They're they're keeping their horses, you know, ready and they. You can tell they're not armed and armored. They are, you know, clothing and that's it. That's all they got. Maybe maybe a small sack of some snacks or something. But they they have their three silver and they'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I am going to ride the wagon. Okay, there's two wagons. Yes. And they're not riding side by side. You want the first wagon or the <laughs> second wagon? I'll ride in one as well. But I will I'll, ride I'll... in the first wagon. Okay. okay. All right. I'll so you're in the first, you're wagon. in the second, and Bernie... You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. There's a rope tied to his ankle, and he's being dragged behind right. the horses. You can ride I'm one of the horses. I'm screaming with no sound coming out. It yeah. is that we we had 50, uh, fifty silver now, right? Right. Yep. You you each have fifty silver, correct? Okay. Oh, nice. I will. Uh... And a letter. There's one letter that one of you is carrying. A letter of introduction, like who you are, who, what your authority is, which you don't really have any authority, right? It's the, the way it's written. It's it's written like you're his representative, but you don't have any authority to like walk into the manor and start killing people. You know, it's like, but you do have the authority to investigate. And ask questions and go around and stuff like that. Well, All right. Rainer should take the letter or guy had one to me. I wouldn't even order it. Well, he handed oh. you the map. Can you can't read a map? You can, well, you can see pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and he points at it like, that's the mine, that's the town. Well, <laughs> yeah. The letter of, of introduction would go to Rainer. Well, I'll give it to. I'm the youngest, so I'll always defer to to my elder here. Okay, so Rainer, you're carrying the letter. I guess so. And I'll write in the front wagon. And are you keeping? Are you Bernard? Are you keeping the map? No, I'll give it to Rainer as well. Okay, they, you can roll it up together or whatever. Yeah. Like a little bundle. Keep right. it protected. It's there's not a scroll case or anything, but it's just a piece of paper. You roll it up, tuck it in your belt, or put it in your pack. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that's another it. thing. You can put your packs on the wagon, so you don't have to carry that if you wanted to walk. I'll uh, ask the teamsters up front. You ever been there before? Oh yeah. Ever... Oh yeah. Okay. It's so it's know, not it's not far. Work. It's not far. Okay. Um, Good. Great now deal. there. It's it's a fairly new town. Uh, they've only been there for about eighty years. Still you know, shiny. yeah. And their lord recently died. Um, Sir Cathalus took over. Um, and he's just a knight, correct? He is the manor lord. Okay. Yeah, he is just a knight. If you want to say that. Um, yep, this is where I'm at. Yeah, so on the ride, you can get uh, a little lore drop from the Teamsters. And uh, I did it again. I closed it. Not closed it, but shrunk it down. Lore drop, where you at? Okay, here we are. Okay, when Lobon Village was first created, it was called Ambaran. Yeah, it's had a name change. It was founded about 80 years ago as a mercenary fort. Financed by the Miners Guild. 
to protect and maintain the trail uh, that leads to the copper and tin mines in the hills. Uh, they normally had five mercenaries stationed at, at, at that base. Um, and it was the last outpost of civilization along the Fur Road. So anybody that was traveling, that would be their last gas station. After that, it would be wilderness, right? Um, and the road heads north to Orbal, which is the Vikings. We never got a chance to ask, but I wonder if this is tied in with the missing... Um, that we were going to talk to the mercenary about the caravan. I oh. don't know if it's tied oh, in right. with the whole, because the fur road has got violence on it as well. I don't know if it's the same thing or not. Yeah, you're. Uh, it could be. Uh, by 650, remember it's 720. By 650, several freeholders had sought and obtained land grants to settle the area. Uh, a lot of these earlier settlers were slain by the marauding Tailda tribesmen. Okay, the Tailda, uh, I'm taking you off of Olakon because you've left Olakon. You guys are now on the road to Oban. But if you look out here, that little, what does it say, Derwain? That's a Tailda campsite and Rila up here that's a tailed uh, um, campsite so those are like tribes think of them like Celts mad Celts or whatever um, it always goes back to that maybe if I switch them around it'll go to this one okay so so about what was it about 70 years ago they formed uh if my math is right yeah about 70 years ago they they formed like settlements and they were raided um they had a, a population of about 40 so it wasn't it's not very wasn't huge uh by 689 the um mercenary captain lobon of Dizaller served valiantly for the king uh, during the king's uh, hills campaign. He was knighted on the field to Sir Loban and was made vassal of the Earl of Olocon. Uh, and he was charged to provide protection for the miners guild. Okay. And he was charged with delivering 100 bushels of rye each year, which is approximately 1200 silver. Um that's he, a lot less than ours. Yes. A lot less. I call shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, maybe that is a, a, a quest chain you can pursue. Okay, Sir Loban died in 693. So that's seven, 27 years ago. As a result, it was a lucky shot from the tail of the bow. His 23-year-old son, Sir Gunnart, assumed command and renamed the village after his father. Because remember, it was Ambaran originally, and now it is Loban. Under Gunnart's leadership, the fife expanded to the banks of the river Ambaran. The present manor house was built. And the village expanded to 12 families. Sir Gunnar died in 715. 
five, five years ago. From a drunken fall down the tower steps. His eldest son, Sir Cathal, inherited the estate. So Sir Cathal's been in charge for the last five years, but he's been raised there. Um, I'll even share this. Last spring, Sir Cathal expanded his fife. Um, tried the only available land was the wilderness across the Embaran River, the area that the Tilda consider theirs. Within weeks of his villagers begin to clear the land. The work teams were ambushed by tail the war parties. Three villagers died, six more were wounded, two of them were women. So Sir Cathal responded by hiring a company of 20 mercenaries from Tashal, the capital. Um, that summer, the band invaded the forests seeking battle and after a week they located an undefended tailed of village and slaughtered a third of their population men women and children and the remainder fled sir cathal um is reported as saying that he told the mercenaries not to go out of hand or get out don't let things get out of hand but they did um so he's not taking responsibility for it for anything like that and that's about all the teamsters know there might be other things going on but yeah. Do you guys want to chit chat before I bring you in? I've got nothing. No, we'll just ride this wagon and listen to the lore. And... There are four villages between where you're at and Lobon. Uh, there's the Doran, the Hes Hesby, or Hesi, the Withian, and then you go to Lobion. I definitely do want to. Oh, keep I forgot Bryn. Yeah. Because of, you mentioned that there was violence along the road. Well, it was on the fur road, I guess, but still. You're on the fur case. road. You're on the fur road. Oh, okay. Well, the fur road uh, goes from Olakon to Loban and then up to and through Oban up or Loban up to. Um, well, I guess my primary is going to be looking behind us in case. Make sure nobody. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, it's everywhere. Yeah, you. you it's, uh, those guys are in front. Yeah, you're not going to be like blinders. I'm sure you're going to be looking everywhere. But yeah, I got you. You're going to focus on the app to see if anybody's following you. Um, okay. So going through these villages, these villages all have maybe. 50 to 100 people in them. They're not huge. They're all farming communities, you know. And when you get to when you get to Lobon, um, I have a map. Beep. Let's drag you over to Lobon. Burp. Uh, do I have a party token? I do. Should be just a black screen, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, I'm going to draw a party token. Yes, the music changed. I can drop you guys. Can you see everything now? Yes. Okay. You're on the Withian Road, which is the fur road. Um... They don't really call it the fur road until you go past Loban, but it, it is the fur road. And uh, 
these little buildings like 11 12 13 all those guys those all look like very small houses they're not they're not unusual uh, this is something you probably have seen a million times They're like maybe, maybe um, like a two-room house. You got your your storage slash uh, garage attached to your living room, and that's it. You sleep in the living room. That's kind of how all these all these houses are. Okay, so as you approach, you see people. You know, um, there are a couple of people walking around. There's, uh, looks like your normal village. What do you guys want to do? The Teamsters are basically taking your direction. I guess we got to find somewhere to stay. Well, that's... Oh. Head right to the manor first thing. Well, and let me just let me just advance you up the road. Um, okay, so when you go up the road, you notice that the first thing you notice is that number twelve over here is abandoned. Okay, it's it's obviously the the little farm in the back, the little uh, personal scuttage or whatever they call that, is overgrown with weeds. Okay, it's it's been abandoned for some time. Anybody in the fields? They're out out here. They're um, no, there's no one out in the fields. But uh, you can make an agriculture roll. <laughs> Just a second. Let's see. Let me let me pull up a let's pull up a character sheet so I know exactly what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's probably a craft skill. Um, folklore might be a skill. Um, I need a skill list. That's what I need. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, that's where I'm at. Uh, not a combat skill. It's a lore skill. Would it be No, it wouldn't be that. I would allow foraging. I would allow cookery and agriculture I have foraging but not the other two yeah you can roll any one of those so if you got foraging you can roll it or you can roll a 5% against agriculture okay I might have to do the 5% that doesn't it's crafty. I get those 99s out of my system now. Nice. Huzzah. You have foraging? Yes. Apparently you do. Um, has everybody rolled? Looks like everybody's rolled. Okay, so Gaimar, you notice that that's Fields of Rye. And, uh, the crops have not been cleared. They are they are still out there st waiting to be harvested. Which one and, of these have and, and Reynard, you learn the same. But you don't see anybody out there working it. What's that? Which would one of these houses be, uh, be one that I was raised in or is it in a different part? Okay, that was that was a long time ago. 
But you think it was building 12. Oh. Oh. You remember it was on the edge of you it was on the edge of the town, close to the fields. You know, it was it was all the way out there. You look at it, you might get a little That looks that looks smaller than I remember. You know, kind of kind of deal. You're looking at it, it's it appears to be a small cottage. But the, it looks a lot more abandoned the, than I remember. The timber is old and rotten. Maybe not, maybe not rotted, but but you could tell it hasn't been tended to in a few years, probably. Look up the road. Is there anybody in the visible on the road? Yeah, I would want to question anybody we pass. Um, okay, so right here at uh, in ten. There is an old lady. I do believe it's 10. Let me double check. It's not 10. Of course, it would be 13, right? It's 13. Okay. Uh, 13, right? So before you pass by uh, 13, you see this old lady sitting on a rocking chair on her porch. Just rocking. Watching you come by. This is a major... This is a highway. Merchants come and go up this road all the time. I just had flashbacks to a holy grail. Old woman! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not old. Yeah. Well, there, she she is kind of... Uh, she's homely. But no, she's, a, she's an older... When I say old woman, I'm talking, she should be dead. You know, she's probably in her 60s, 70s maybe. Way past lifespan of people on this planet. Okay. And she just, she just, you know, do you say something or just drive past her? No, I, wanna, I would want to speak to her if they don't stop her first. They're ahead of me. I'll say, let's stop here. Okay, so you park right there in the little, in that little area. Um, when you can see up here where it says Ambarin Common. That's normally where wagons will take, uh, well, because a, a common is normally a truck stop. That's where, a, that's what a common is. So anytime there's wagons or traveling merchants or whatever, that's where they would stop. But yeah, you can stop in the road temporarily, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you jump off your wagon or just haul her down at her. I get close considering she's so... Yeah, she's frail. She's she's in front of a... It's a nice looking uh, cottage of, of uh, you know, 80 years of cottage. You know? I'll get down and follow guy. Okay. So that I'm right at his side when he talks to her. So you can hear. Yeah. Yeah. Because these squares are pretty big. Right? If you if you did like uh, some snapping, we're looking at 75 feet in a square. Yeah, I want to get up close in case she's got hearing issues or she's blind or, or whatever, you know. Right. Um, well, she's not blind. Uh, she sees you coming and she's like, she doesn't wave, but she's like, she sees you coming. Old mother, I, uh, we are knights sent by the sheriff oh. to investigate investigate the town. There's been reports of a violence here in the town, and uh, the tribute hasn't been made. Can you tell us? Oh, you're. Is you're, anything? A, she she averts her eyes. She doesn't want to look you eye to eye. Is anything unusual been happening here in your town? Oh, the, the murders, it's horrible. The, the, the demons. I just had to use that word. It's one point during the campaign. Demons? No, yeah, the, de the, de the demons. They, they just snatch people up. It's horrible. There, there was one just happened yesterday. I just lean over here. towards uh, Bernier and I whisper, this explains a lot about him. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was one. Oh uh, yeah, heck on. He, 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 he. Um. Mm, just a second. Hack on, hack on, hack on. Yeah, last night, hack on of Ursat, he he disappeared. Demons, and it's, demons. it's, you gotta keep your eyes open, you know? And that's why I'm out here watching the road. Gotta be on alert. I'm part of the militia, you know? Okay. Or a town watch, whatever you want to call it. I don't you actually fight. Demons, demons. Are, they, are they men? The demons? That's crazy. If you would think a demon's a man, I don't know. I haven't seen one. You haven't seen one? No. Okay. Well, we're on, we're on the frontier. Do you, are you, that's what was my question. Are you referring to, uh, what are the people called, the Viking people? Orball. Uh, no, uh, that's the kingdom. It's called Orbal. They're Jaren. Jaren? Raiders? P perhaps painted? It, could that be your demons? Now, if you're talking about the tailed, uh, that's those are like local tribesmen. I'm thinking like berserkers painted up. You okay, know, that that would be the that would be the 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 Jaren from Orbal. Th those would be berserkers. Um, no, um, uh, I, I don't know. No, it couldn't be. Demons are demons. Men are men. Well, you say you haven't seen one. Can you no. tell us, no. direct us to somebody who has seen one of these demons so we may question them further? No, the, no one ever sees, no one's ever seen them. The bodies just disappear and it happens in broad daylight. Why isn't the harvest stand? The rye is standing in the fields. Uh, the men, the men said, "No, we ain't doing it until the murders are handled." And uh, because they haven't been so, mm, uh, I, I shouldn't say anything about that. I don't really have any, uh, yeah. any, any. I, I haven't manned the fields in a long time. I just take care of my goat. What if Sir Kethel? Is he alive and well? Actually, she has a cow, eight sheep, and nine pigs. Mm, she's doing pretty well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's very specific. Yeah. <clears throat> she has a cow, for one thing. That's a big deal. <laughs> is Sir Kethel, are you, is he alive and well? Oh, I'm sure he is somewhere and probably hanging out in his manor, you know, like most nobles do. You would know anything about that. Guess we should go hang out at the manor. Thank you. Oh, absolutely, my lord. You, you, you humble me by speaking to me directly. And she's not looking at you eye to eye. I'll, I'll give her a uh, flipper three silver for her thank you for your time old mother do you flip it at her <laughs> not really <laughs> not no throws it hard no try to hit her in the face <laughs> no no Bing! no so you you hand her three silver yeah okay she she's like she's looking at it and she's like oh um maybe i got other information for you um nope oh. <laughs> but I if I think of anything, I'll come find you. Thank you. Yeah. So you, if you, you if look. Anything else should happen. Please let us know. Yeah. Um. Okay. I will. And if you need anything from me, you know where I sit. I sit on All the right. right side of the road. I ain't one of those lefters. Oh, and she knows her right from her left. She's smart. Yeah. Smart and wealthy. That's right. <clears throat> and if I go out in the field, I would be far right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go to the river, you're a radical leftist. No, she... 
She's like, no, I, I, you know where to find me. I sit here on my porch almost every day, uh, you know, after I take care of my pigs and stuff. Well, you have a good day, and uh, is there anything else I can yeah. do for you? Okay. No. All right. I I'm done, unless you guys have more. Get back in the carts. Oh. Gaimar, you're from here, right? Maybe she could tell you about your family. I'll worry about that later. I've already seen my home, and it's a ruin. So I'll ask. I, I would want to know. I want to know as well, that, and I'll, I'll ask Sir Kethel about it. There. Uh, I'll wait until we're... Um back out of earshot of the old woman again. You are as soon as you get back oh. to the wagons. Uh, she seemed to turn pretty cold as soon as we mentioned we were, you know, here on official business. It's possible bringing that up with her might endear her to us a little. It's not just, you know, people stomping around to take their hard-earned grain. It's, uh, it's an old old son coming home but don't discount the fact that the evildoers here could be some strange I don't want to say cult but some strange locals who have you know this close to the border people can adopt strange beliefs well, and more reason to make a, make them think we're, we're one of them yeah, fair, fair enough. I just didn't want to say anything right away. That's also fair. Well, plus she's, you know, like right next door. I was curious if she might recognize me, but I am wearing a bunch of armor and stuff, so. And you've grown. And she didn't really look at us that, that straight, so. And you were 12. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to take our the carts just right up to the manor? I don't want to go all the way over to the common and park there. I'd rather park in front of the manor first. Um, I feel like they they might take that as all right. We're here. Where where is it? I, I think we should follow custom. We can we can leave them in the common for a bit. Let's go to the common and then let the uh, Teamsters stay with the wagons and then we'll walk to the manor, the three of us. Yeah, well, in, in case, like you said, there's, you know, some weird cultists or something. We don't want to... Let's at least let's at least head to the common and see what the situation there is. And then we can decide. Let's, let's take the men with us because if people are disappearing, we don't want them to disappear. They don't have any weapons to protect themselves. Right. Let's see what so, we get. Let's see well, what the happens. horses, we'll the horses and the wagons are very valuable. Kind of why I wanted to park them outside. Yeah, just, if you go to the common, forward. you would want to leave them with the horses. We don't even know what's going on. I'm afraid to leave stuff out here that. You're afraid of everything. Kind of When you Let's, say you're uh, afraid of something, it just goes over my head because you are paranoid. Let's go see what the situation at the common is. If it's abandoned, we'll just take the wagons up to the van. Okay, so on. when you get when you get by this building right here, that is obviously the inn. Um, just a second. Is it on the GM layer? It might be. Boom. Um. Yeah, this is obviously the inn, and uh, I've got a picture for you. It has a... It's a beautiful inn. Uh, and A, I'm not sure what A is. 
Uh, that is probably a stable. Yeah, the ostler stays in A, this building right there, and the inn is right there, and they've got like a little courtyard uh, for the stable. And you continue on, you can see that there is a well in the middle of the, uh, I guess that's the town square, if you want to call it that. Um, and the manor itself, uh, I have a perspective. So we're going right up to the manor with the wagons? Well, no, you got to go buy it. You can go up to the manor if you want, but you can see it's got like a little drawbridge. It's got um, a two-story gatehouse, and then it's got a small little keep in the back and some buildings. Yeah, it's... Something's not oh. right in this town. This guy hasn't responded to a message from the sheriff for over a month. Do you, you want to go to the he... manor, or do you want to yeah, continue on there. to the common? Well, let's just go to the manor. Okay, so you get in front of the drawbridge. Your wagons. Oh, nice you pull here. right up to the drawbridge. Yeah. Let's get off the wagons. Let's all three of us go ahead and tell the hey, do guys we see any wait. guards? Do we well, see any kind of people? You see a moat. Do we? So there's no people. So I'll, we'll call. The off. drawbridge is up. Ho guards there. You there's have a, visitors. There's a water. There's a water moat around it. Well, I wouldn't call it like wet <laughs> just a second a big okay. ditch it's a big ditch um it's a dry moat um wooden doors drawbridge um And, and okay, so yeah, so you you um you pull up and you can see on the on the left side of the manor there okay, there's this like a wooden wall, right? With a mm -hmm. wood and but at the top of the wall you can see a little kid, seventeen year old, looking over the edge of the of the wall, watching you approach the the drawbridge. Well, who wants to talk to me? Mason, you, no. you've been pretty quiet. I don't want to keep, like, trying to talk over everyone. I'd like everyone to get a chance to contribute. I, I feel like I might be smothering you out, so... Oh, no, you're, you're uh, good. You, you're you're okay. good. Um, I like letting you guys take the lead, too. I feel like I did a lot of uh, talking the last couple. It's a 15 foot high wooden palisade. So yeah. he's on a walkway or a like a like, like a, a catwalk, and he's look he's looking out. Yeah, like like a <clears throat> like a palisade. We'll wave to him. Hail, young man! Hail. Okay. Let us in the manor. We're here. Okay. On business. He screams at you, right? Um. His yell can be heard for three miles. Nice. He is... Uh, not three miles, I'm sorry. Can be <laughs> his, his scream can be heard for over a mile. He's won the yelling contest three years in a row. And it sounds like idiotic laughter when he screams. Hello. I'm not going to do it because you know. Hello. What 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 can we do for you? Who are you? We're here to see the lord of the manor. Uh, okay. One minute. And then you see he disappear off the off the palisade. The yelling champion. <laughs> hey, I guess I'd put the yelling champion up there too. <laughs> Old yeller. That's right. And then another person comes up to the top of the uh, 
you can't really see him because he's like a million miles away from you. But yeah, the, you see this. Yeah, he's like, I don't know, 70 feet away from me. But there's another guy. He looks like a, a guard, a warrior, a soldier, something. He's up there and he's like, why do you need to see the, uh, the Lord? He's indisposed. Um, produce the letter, maybe? Just hold it up? Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it out. I can't read that from here! Uh, we have the authority to question what's happening at the manor and the tardiness of some deliveries that were due. We're here at the behest of the Holocaust. Of uh, Sheriff Harabor. Um, hmm. Okay, the guy that's speaking to you now looks younger than the yelling champion. Um, he says. Okay, here we go. So you're here from the Shire, uh, the Sheriff? It's correct. Okay, um, just a second. And you can see that he's talking to somebody that you can't see. And then the drawbridge goes down. It's coming down. And, uh... Brothers, be on guard in case of an ambush. The, uh, I can't believe, the, uh, I can't believe there's... You know, are you... You are so paranoid. I dare, Eric, I, I honestly don't appreciate it. I find I'm it... Sorry. I'm sorry. Insulting. I'm sorry. I, I, am, I am sorry. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. That that is that is my fault. Feelings. No, that's my fault I'm for being child. rude. That's 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 my fault for being rude. But I. Well, ask the the uh, tell the teamsters to stay here with the wagons, and the three of us will go over the. Uh, the that was that was my fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say what to the teamsters? To uh, stay here with the wagons, right here. Absolutely. We'll go, we'll, we'll go across the drawbridge. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll do whatever you want. Thank you. Yeah, you guys don't know what's going on in this in this village, and I do. So it it could it could have been it it could come from any angle, right? It could be that there's good guys that are getting ready to rush out of this manor, and not. And I took my this is my apology to you. I took my understanding that that's not going to happen as like leverage against you being wary and thinking you're being paranoid when in fact you're you're honestly just being on guard. Well, I'm just playing a character who is a little paranoid but Yeah. That yeah. And no, that's fine. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at your character because your character, okay, your character has been paranoid from the beginning, right? Yeah, Even when you yeah. talk to Sir Emmett and everybody, you, you've yeah. always, you've always been super He's on guard. And it just, it just struck me as funny. I don't, I don't mean anything by it. But okay. Okay, I'm yeah. oh, sorry. I, I just took it personally for some reason. No, you're, you're yeah, okay. Was, no, was, you're, you're perfectly right. fine because I was being kind of obnoxious. So we worked it out. We're good. I gave you a bro right. hug. Okay, so um, yeah, so the they say they will wait by the by the wagons and uh, until you're until you come out and you know tell them what's going on, and then the the gate come the uh, drawbridge comes down, the gate opens up, and the sixteen year old comes out, 
the guy that was talking to you from the palisade. Uh, not the not the yelling champion, but this other guy. And he is obviously a squire. And he comes out by himself and he says, um, Okay, you can speak to me. I would rather speak to someone who's at least grown stubble before. It's kind of big matters. Well, just uh, well, I'm a squire. Start... I'm 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 Sir Cathal Squire. I'm gonna just start walking across He's just... the drawbridge past this guy right into the manor house. He draws his sword. I draw my sword. And all the Stand other guards out. are ready to fight. Stand down. We're here from Alaka. Stand down. Sir, you can't just you just you can't happening? just uh, assault our castle. We're not assaulting the castle. I'm walking in to see the lord of this castle. You can't just do that without an appointment. Well, then all right. We now have an appointment. Oh, well, and maybe they're. I'll say to say. I'm going to say out loud to 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 those two. Maybe they've taken a mindset of they're under siege and they see us as. Uh, attacking everyone. We are here at the behest of the sheriff. Your tribute is late. There's reports of violence in this town. The mines have shut down. He asked us to come here to see what is happening and report back to him. We simply want to speak to to Sir Kethel. We uh, we're not here to siege your castle. Will you let us pass now? Make make a rhetoric roll. Okay. The, While you're making that not, and you are saying that to him, he's keeping his eyes on Bernier because he's got his sword out. Oh, I got my hand on the hilt. Oh, he's got his sword That's in it. his hand. It's out. I say, you know, you it's not. He's not like. He's not like. He, for a squire. He, Incredibly he's, impertinent for a squire. I am offended by your actions. I don't you mean to. Rethink, I don't mean to offend you, you. Rethink your position here and t take us to the Lord of this matter. I I don't mean to offend you, but well, you, you can't did. just you can't just walk past well, me into me my. I, can and can't do. I do actually. I'm the squire to the Lord, and you are some who knows who you are. You're just some guy with a sword and armor that walked up on my drawbridge. Um, here, perhaps I can settle this, and I'll show him the introductory letter. Okay, so you hand him the introductory letter, or are you, or are you trying to just, or are you handing it to him? Um, I'm handing it to him. If he does something to it, that tells us everything we need to know. We go get the sheriff and it's not our problem anymore um so i'm not, I'm not worried yeah i'm not yeah that's true i don't want to turn this into an international incident all right if they're not going to cooperate with us okay so he he looks at it and he reads it up and down and He succeeds. Okay. So he can he can read this. And he's like Well This seems official. And he hands it back to you and says Uh Come on into the manor and I will tell Sir Cathal that you are here. But understand that he is indisposed right now. Um, it might be it might be a minute or two before he's able to speak to you. That's fine. Okay. So, um, and you can bring your wagons in if you want. I don't think that's necessary at this time.
you want to you want it's a fairly tight fit if you tried to bring the wagons but yeah. you could do it do you want to send the carts to the common now since we've made contact i yeah, want they... to talk to the lord first or we can talk to the lord first and let them know what we're here for i don't want those guys going down to the common without us okay i'll tell them to to pull to the to the side of the road a little bit so they can block the drawbridge okay so um I, I, you guys should see the map or at least some of it yeah if i control l there we go okay so you guys can go in and this is the about the size of the manor you see uh, this is the courtyard out here uh, you see a little well right there um, this is the first floor and hmm there is a guest room but I guess where would he take you to wait The Great Hall? No, not the Great Hall, maybe? Could take you to the Great Hall, or... Yeah, so he'll take you to the Great Hall. So, uh, you guys head over in this direction. There's a little door right there, you probably can see. And you guys go in to the Great Hall while you're waiting. Did we see any, any of the other castle occupants while we were passing through? Yeah, there was an, a number of guards, uh, like six additional guards uh, up on the in the courtyard. Looks like they were ready for the squire to start a fight. Okay. Um, and you can see or smell horses or a horse stable or something like that off to the right and uh and of course the keep is off to the left um so yeah you guys are in there the kitchen is like right there um he says wait here and uh, i'll let i'll let the my knight know that you were here with urgent business from the sheriff and that i will try to sober him up to the best of my ability It's indisposed. And he, you can hear him talking to one of the guards. If you want to make an awareness test, you can. Everybody can make Always. this. Yeah, why not, right? Sorry. Yeah. So, Gaimar, you are not hearing it. And not neither is Bernier. Um, nope. Okay, so he says something to one of the guards as he just departs and heads towards the keep and the guard is standing there in the room with you uh not looking at these two but keeping his eye on you making sure you don't do anything that you're not supposed to do <laughs> um and how long would you like to wait or how, how long do you wait before something might before you like take action into your own hands it, he might show up before then. I'm just wondering, like, how patient are you guys? Well, he said indisposed. At first, you know, I think we all assumed that meant sick. And then he said sober him up. I'd wait like an hour. I've been drunk before. Get himself presentable and black some water on his face. Sounds reasonable to me, yeah. Something, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sir Cathal um, comes in comes in with his squire into the uh, what do they call this place? The common room? No, it's a. Uh,
the Great Hall. And let me get Sir Cathal. I think I've got some art for him. That's him. Little scruffy looking. And uh, not only is he carrying a drink in his hand, but you can smell it on his breath. I mean, from a mile away. This guy emanates alcohol. He's sweating alcohol. And he says, when he walks in, he looks to his squire and he says, so which one of these are from the sheriff? And he says, uh, these three knights right here. And he's like, he's squinting and looking and he can tell, you can tell that he sees more than three of you. Uh, the hall, okay, this is just a little atmosphere. The hall is wooden structure, uh, one big room with private quarters, um, fireplaces, which are not lit. The hall is lit by a narrow window high overhead. The floor is strewn with straw and sweet smelling herbs. The hall is magnificently decorated with several tapestries. There's nine suits of mail and similar number, number of battle swords and shields hanging from the walls. These are trophies from Sir Cathal's uh, tourney triumphs. All of that equipment is in good repair. So, yeah, the male hauberks and cowls and leggings and all that half helms they could all be like taken off the wall and used um, the nine night shields bear heraldic devices eight of which are not especially noteworthy the ninth is a roll a heraldry test Mm -hmm. well, I, my heraldry is pretty useless. That's under craft lore. Oh, no, I actually have 42, so I'm decent. Oh, you're more than decent. So you have, uh, you recognize it. Um, the ninth is a stag lodged argent okay so it's it, yeah it's a device of clan darun the previous owner was skina darun a suitor for the princess cheseline alenza a possible contender for the crown upon King Miganoth's death. Um, there's also lances, morning stars, balls and chains, battle axe. Yeah, so there's basically a lot of trophies on the wall. And he's like, um, so welcome, welcome to my, welcome to my manor, um, emissaries, what can I do for you? Well, we have a number of quests, or questions. The, the first we should ask, though, is... Where is everybody?
Um, they're probably in their homes. Damn rebels. Insubor Rebellion? Insubordinates. I tried to get them to... I tried to get them to... Uh, harvest the crops. And they provided me an ultimatum. Me! An ultimatum! What was it? We, I had to find out what the where these murders or disappearances were coming from uh, before they would before they would uh, harvest the crops you know and uh, so I attempted to track the killers on on three occasions. And then what have you learned? And nothing. On my last excursion, when I was away, another murder happened. I think you might have gone the wrong direction. Um. And then I get this, and then I get this, uh, letter. Uh, from the Reeve saying that the villagers aren't going to aren't going to aren't going to harvest uh, I, I I made them promises I even threatened them and finally I just I went ahead and just arrested the reeve two days ago and locked him up and i'm gonna execute him if they don't harvest the crops so i'm gonna hang him if they continue their rebellious ways they said okay hmm is that is that what's behind the sh the shutter of your minds and the delay in tribute of your rye? Is this rebellion? He sits down on one of these tables. He, he doesn't go to the... There's no end or what... Like, he would normally sit up here at, at this table, the head table, but he's not. He actually sits at one of these long tables because he just can't stand anymore because he's, he, you can tell that he's he's wavering a little bit. And he says, uh, what? <laughs> the What was the question? I'm sorry, I was, uh. I, it took everything I had in me to sit down. The sheriff is uh, concerned about the shutdown of the of the mine, and he uh, yeah, understandably wants you know production to begin again. Is the rebellion of your of these serfs behind the shutdown and of the mine? No, no. The my my understanding is is the guild closed the mine because of the murders. They didn't want additional miners getting killed. And then recently these murders have, have reached the town itself and that's scared the villagers to ask me to take care of it. And I've tried. I've tried taking care of it. But uh they they um aren't satisfied and they did a stoppage of work basically they're on strike and so the mine was by the guild and the rye is by the villagers none of it is my fault <laughs> isn't, i just had to say your, that isn't your job as the lord to protect these lands 
Absolutely. So it is your fault. Mm, yes. And that's why I've taken actions. I've arrested the Reeve. And I've threatened the villagers that if they don't get get harvesting, he's gonna he's gonna be hung. Okay, how about we don't do that plan? Okay. Instead I'm I'm open for suggestions. I've I've been at this for a couple of months now. Yeah, it, it sounds it sounds like a problem for sure. Um how it might even those... it might even be those those heathens, the Tata. You know, I th it might be them trying to get revenge because I sent my mercenaries out to get revenge. It's been like a back and a forth. I was expanding across the river. They attacked one of our camps, so I sent mercenaries out, attacked one of their camps. And now they might be attacking back. That's that's my first thought. I'm sorry. Go on. I could see that being a problem. Right. But I haven't been able to find any evidence of that. Cause because these they're, they're not being people aren't being killed. They're turning up missing. And only like bloody rags or whatever are left behind. Are you the one that's investigating this, or do you have somebody else on it? Well, I... Yes, but... Uh, I have a local... Uh, the militia leader, the... Um, okay, hold on, he's got a name. Yeah. Doberry. Doberry... Uh, He's he's like a local. He's the administrator of the. Uh, you could think of him like a lawman. I he's in town. He trains the militia, but he also uh, is in charge of the law. He administers the feudal justice. And the and the village militia. It's Doberry. Doberry of Messina. Is, does he stay in the in the manor? No, no, he lives in town. He's uh he's the village beetle. Or, or constable. So, I would say, I mean, he's a loyal, he's a loyal servant, and it's bewildering him as well. So, I know he's doing everything that he can, but, uh, yeah, we're at our wit's end. We don't know what to do. Is only the rye not being harvested? Have they harvested other things? That's all we really harvest. Oh, they, they harvest like their own personal like farms, but they're not. But this is for the tithe that goes to the, the you know, they want to put pressure on me so that people like you will come and put pressure on me. But we can't let the populace you know, run their own lives. They're not smart enough for that. Well, we weren't sent to put pressure on you it's merely to, to find out what may be going on here and just to report back to the sheriff. So, uh, and, and, fact, and assist if, if possible. Uh, yeah. We're more than happy to assist. Well, I, I, and then he takes a drink. And says, um, uh, 
I don't know what to do. I, I'm so mad that I think my anger is getting in the way of smooth and logical thought. And then he takes another drink. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Or if you want to go out and investigate on your own and figure out where these people are missing from, if you could solve that, then I could harvest the rye and deliver our tithe. Okay, could you direct us to wh which, which, you know, people have gone missing? Like their houses? I think we should go talk to Doberry. Uh, yeah, Do, Do um, what is it, uh, Dung Dingleberry. <laughs> Doberry, I'm listening, now we should go talk to him. Yeah, he's, he's on, on top of it. He would know. Um, Which house is he in? He... Uh, and then he looks over to Squire and he says, Can you show him? And the Squire says, Yes, my lord. Uh, I'll take him, take him there right now. And then the Squire says, All right, follow me, gentlemen. Is the common safe for the wagons? Well, nowhere is safe. Apparently not with these murders going on. Okay. But oh, you don't have anything to fear from the villagers. They're not they're not armed or anything. So we'll just take the wagons with us, park outside wherever we go then. <laughs> well that's not gonna happen. Why not? You're just gonna drive the wagons around everywhere in the village? Go from apparently go so. From, okay. I mean, the horses will the love that. Is, if the commons isn't safe, well, the issue is n nowhere is. We we could probably leave them there. It's in a nice big open area. If something happens, surely one of them will be able to get our attention. Yeah. I mean, this town's not gigantic. There's only, like, less than 100 people here. Yeah, well, tell them to, like, start knocking two sticks together or something. I mean, I don't know what else, actually. Um, I don't know if whistles exist in this in this day and age, so I don't know if we could give them a whistle. Well, we have a, we have a boy that watches over the area from the wall. If he sees okay. anything happening in the common area, he can just yell, and you can hear him from almost a mile away. That sounds good. If we you want, need, if you want to do that, the horses will need some kind of rest, and these guys are not going to be of much help to us other than well, if you did, around good. Well, I'm saying if you want to walk the horses and the wagons around the village. That's not going to be a problem. But if you decide to leave the village, you're... Are you following the roads? Because if you go up well, the fur road, there's no problem. But if you go into the woods, that might be a problem. Who lives at the, the house by the edge of the common? Uh, which one? Number three or number four? Number four. Okay. That is one of the victims. He was the one that was murdered last night. That's Hakon of Ursat. Well, they His, say murdered, but they really mean disappeared, right? Yes. Um, his son, uh, Vunder, will likely inherit that land. And, curiously, number three over here, that's the Temple to Peony. Are there any uh, Miners Guild members here in Loban, or are they all 
are they out by the mines? Where would could we speak with one of them? You would have to go into a major town to find a guild hall or something. They don't live oh, in town. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's going to be difficult. Normally they would be at the mine, but the mine's been closed. Maybe we'll we'll check with the. Be I think we'll get better answers from Beetle. Let's uh, let's just send the two wagons down to the common. Um, yeah. They're probably familiar with doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll just send them down and let's go see the Stoneberry. Okay. Uh, he's the Beetle, and you are taken to number two. That place right there. So that, um, I got you on this map, right? Yeah, 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 I got you on this map. So yeah, it'll take you over there. You can see it's a fairly larger building. Uh, so you approach uh this house and the squire says that's him do you want me to stay with you or do you want or i should go back to my duties back to your duties yeah so he leaves and goes back to the manor uh, so basically he doesn't want to uh what's the word i'm looking for he doesn't want to uh Okay, I'm drawing lines. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, so you knock on his door and he says, I'll be right there. And then uh, this gentleman um, he's got an average stature and weight uh, it looks like he's in his 40s there you go another hand-drawn picture and he says, oh, like yeah, I know he looks, they're like, they're like, they're from the same village. He goes, uh, what, what, what can I do? What, what, uh, hello? My name is Doughberry. I saw you, I, I saw you ride in and, and go to the manor. I assume it has something to do with the, uh, you brought some flatbed wagons, so I assume it has something to do with the missing uh, rye. Or are you here? Or are you here to help me with these uh, with these murders? I haven't been able to catch a demon. We've been sent. We we have been sent by the sheriff to investigate the delay in the tithe, the violence in the area, the shutdown of the mines, and uh, if possible, assist with resolving issues here if we if it's within our power. We've spoken with okay. Sir Cathal and and frankly he's had a little too much to drink this evening, so he wasn't as helpful as we'd liked, and he recommended that uh, you would be able to assist us. Okay, I'll be glad to. Uh, I'm, I'm in charge of the militia. Basically, anyone older than 15, 14 is called to serve the militia. Can you tell us how many murders there's been? Four ish. <laughs> okay, hold on. Four ish. Four ish. He's got uh, a speech issue. Well, one of them might have just run off with his mistress. Have any bodies been found? Why do they keep? I feel like I'm in Crazyville. Why do they keep calling them murderers? 
in the blood, I guess. Oh. Um... The bloody rags. Well, that could be a setup too by. Um. Most recent tragedy was last night, which was Hakon of Ursat. Uh -huh. Um. Apparently a victim of a murder, judging by his tattered, bloody tunic. This was the fourth of such brutal slings in the past two months. Okay. Uh, Can you tell us about the other murders? The other three? And, hold on, and the... Before that, there was three killings at the mine. So there must be seven. No one uh, living has seen or heard from any killer. Have you looked where? And okay. the victims are never found. As with Hakon, uh, bloodstained clothing belonging to the poor unfortunates has sometimes been found, but others have simply disappeared without a trace. Uh... Some people think it's the Tailda. But, Who do you think is but others us? think it's demons. Who do you think behind us? It's got to be demons. The, the reason why? I, I patrol... Uh, I patrol uh, the town. And last night, I finished my patrol came to bed and then just less than an hour after I left my patrol Hakon was found dead in the open well, I, well he wasn't found his bloody rags were his clothes we can identify it as his clothes did you see the bloody rags oh I have them do you want them were they fresh when you saw them within an they're hour or so they're still pretty fresh I mean it was only like six hours ago that we found them yeah. When you found it, though, did it look like the murder had taken place hours before or recently when you got there? Well, when I walked by his house an hour before that, I didn't see any bloody rags. So oh. it had to have happened after, because, and then, and then after I did my patrol and then I went to sleep or came to my cottage to go to sleep because I was going to sleep in the day uh, and patrol at night. But then there were screams, and that was that was early in the morning after the sun rose. So normally it would be normally it would be at nighttime when nobody was aware. But this time it was actually in the daytime, it was, even though it was early morning. Well, was it darker or was it light out? Well, it's. It's light, but it's kind of overcast. There's, there's clouds. It hasn't started raining yet, but I suspect it will pretty soon. I mean, when you think the murder happened, was it dark at that time? Oh, I, I waited. I waited to end my patrol until after the sun came up. So it was like an hour after sunrise. The other three murders were at night. Yes. I know this is a small town, so everyone most likely knows each other, but do these right. these four people that have disappeared, did they have a close relationship? Were they were they were they family? Did they work together in the mines? What would you, is there anything about these people that you can tell us in specifically? Um, yes, I can tell you a little bit about the victims, um, and I'll give you their house numbers if you're curious. Uh-huh. Good. Uh, number four was Hakon of Urasat, the, the newest one, uh, and he's the only, uh, he's the only villager that has a bull. Okay. Um, 
I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... Um, oh, that's nuts. Uh, number 11, that's uh, Dudo. Dudo's wife was the victim. So 11 would be Dudo of Cole, and his wife was a victim. And twenty two, which is way up here, uh, that's Bowl. Bowl's daughter, Grundle, disappeared without a trace about a month ago. Yeah, is that all of them? No, one more. Who was the last one? Twenty-two. <laughs> How did you do Dudo, Bowl, Bowl's daughter, Dudo's wife. Four, eleven, and twenty-two. So, so far, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like how the map actually says "old lady." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the latest victim is Harkon, Hackon. Okay, I'm just going down the list here. Oh, wait, 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 his eldest son recently disappeared. Okay, number nine is Garrider. Garrider has had a bad year. His eldest son recently disappeared. His second son ran away this spring with Hesden. And so the father was fined because a one of his uh, one of his possessions ran away. Um, It was only a hundred pennies, though, but you know. Um, and then his young daughter, Igret, disgraced her family by becoming pregnant. Is he married? Oh, Garner? Gar yeah, yeah, yeah. He just lost his eldest son. That was the fourth victim. I forgot. I almost forgot about that one because he's had such a bad life. Was that the first victim? I mean, that was uh, two months ago that he died or came up missing? It didn't say. It just says he had a bad year. It says recently disappeared. So it'd be one of the recent ones. There was one that was like two months ago. Uh, Doughberry, how, how far is the mine from here? Uh, which mine? There's a couple of them. You're talking about the Alba mine? Because there's the there's a tin there. and a copper mine, yeah. Um, it's not far at all, actually. The Amba mine is a tin mine. And it is... It's about one league. Um... So a league is about 12 miles, approximately. So probably two or three hours. Can you say that uh, this, this one at number four was done early morning? Yes. The one at, uh, at 9 and 11 were done in the dark, and so was 22? Yes. 
And that's, so that's the funny. three the three have been done at night, and that's why I've been patrolling at night. That's a and good then, idea. And then, but now, this one happened early morning, so maybe I need to adjust my patrol when, or something. When did you start patrolling? When did you, after the third murder? Uh, yes. Hold on. I've always patrolled, um, but not like, but kind of like a casual, hey, I'm walking the streets, you know, kind of deal. But now I've been kind of keeping my eyes really sharp. Um, Can we go to this? Yeah, it's been, it's hey, probably been about a week. Um, and every now and then I'll even get villagers to help me, you know, to cover the time or the space. Can we go to Haken's house? Yeah. Can you show us where it happened? Well, I can show you where I found the rags. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't find them. They were, somebody screamed when they saw them. But okay, yeah, he'll, he'll take you right there. Boop, right there. Because they're... And as we're walking, I'll say, is there anybody that does business or does any livelihood along the river? What, the, the, this river here, the Amberin yeah, River? the Amberin River. Mm, not really. Like fisher, somebody who does fishing all the time or anything like that? Catches fish or harvests anything along the river? Mm, we were going to expand to the other side. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got mugged um how do you cross the is the river waitable i mean can we ford anywhere along here i see that the roads go two of the roads go to the river yes you can yeah it's it's shallow enough that you could just walk across i wouldn't really call it a river but yeah it's a river um, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the people in town. I see a temple. I see most people work the rye fields, so I'm just finding some people that don't. We have a metalsmith, a wood crafter, uh, Drogo is a beekeeper. Um, we have a Reeve who is locked up. Um, we have a Miller. Uh, but he he doesn't. They don't. They're not on the river. They're uh, that's 23. They uh, they use ox to turn the mill. Okay. And... Yeah. No fishermen. I mean, anybody, I guess, could go fish. No, that's fine. Wanted to, let's go to where the rags were found. Yeah, you're there. You, he's got your uh, token. Oh, that's where, where it was? Yep, right there in front of his house. Does anybody go on the other side of the river much? Uh, not ever since the tail the killed our clearing, uh, the people that were starting to clear the woods on the other side. The tail didn't normally are right up front warriors, though, right? They are. Isn't that how they normally operate? Well, War bands that would attack. They they normally would leave us alone. Um. Because they, they consider anything on the other side of the river their property. So when our Lord decided to expand into that area, uh, I guess they took a front by that. When was that when they were upset? How long ago was that? 
سر Two months ago, um... Is that when, uh... Yeah, it's, it started happening pretty soon after that. Um... Is that Sir Cathal mate sent the, uh, higher, higher hands out to uh, mess him up? Was that two months ago? Yeah, I'm thinking so. What do you guys think? Any ideas? Okay. Mission. While he's looking that up. Recent events. Last spring, a year ago, decided to expand his fife. Uh, within weeks, they began to clear the land. Uh, and they were ambushed. Three villagers died, six more were wounded. He... And then Sir Cathal responded by hiring a company of 20 mercenaries that summer. The band invaded the forest seeking battle. And after about 10 days, they located a village, slaughtered a third of the population. Yeah, but that was like a year ago. Uh -huh. And then about two months ago is when the people started dying around the mines. So the mines were closed, and then within the last few weeks, it's come into town. How was this dispute over the land on the other side of the river? How, how was it settled? Was there a meeting between the groups, or was there any agreement made? Any kind of contact made between anybody? Yeah, um, the sheriff gave it to us. But they didn't speak with the people who believe it's their property. Yeah, they have no right over it. I uh, I can understand that. However, they feel that they have a right over it, so that yeah, yeah, yeah. I I see where they concern. would they would be upset that we went across. Um, I would probably defend my own homeland, but they can't have all that land. Well, that's Can't not hear for me this time. Yeah, I mean, they're not using it. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of a bigger picture just so you can see. And if I was, you can see that they were just going to expand, you know, you got the mines, right? And then maybe cross the Maybe the area between the two little rivers in this area, where the word Loban is. But yeah, the Tailda are like way up here. And they consider anything, all of this land theirs. So that's, that's hubris. Hmm. I don't suppose it would be doable to just go talk to them and ask if they did it mm, you can i don't know how that will go over because because we sent a bunch of mercenary heavily armed mercenaries there and they slaughtered a lot of their women and children yeah well, we walk down to the river is there anything in the road that looks strange as we walk i want to walk down toward the river I did want to try to use my tracking skills to see if there might be any any signs around his property of anything unusual. I know there could be lots of footsteps and I wouldn't know them, but any, any demon footprints, I guess, you know, any hoof prints from two-legged demons walking around? Random okay, so as you guys are searching down this path towards the river, looking for footprints and stuff like that, uh, <clears throat> make me an awareness roll. <coughs> I 
ice. Okay. Um, you get all the way to the river and don't find anything. Even with critical success. Um. I'm looking at your number and I see that it starts at a 46 and there might be a minus that you don't know about. Okay. And you rolled a you rolled a forty five, which normally would be a critical success. That's fine. But apparently, um, it was a failure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Just letting everybody know. Okay. To take off my shoes and and, uh, and boots and uh, tie them up, put them on my shoulder. I'm going to cross the ford. Okay. I'd like to know how deep it is. Well, first of all, this little. Uh, yellowish area is kind of like a beach okay like a but it's rocky it's got some rocks to it and stuff but it's not um like flat grassland or whatever no, and then okay. and then you cross over to the, the other beach or whatever and now you're at the edge of the woods i would like to look around this area for any sign of anything that's been through here on this side, just to take a look at this land over here. Okay. Uh, Dewberry says, what are you guys trying to find over there? Be careful. You might get um, attacked by those barbarians. Yeah, perhaps. But it would seem to me that uh, this might be where the murderer came from. Just taking a look, see. Are you familiar with the area over here? We're looking for anything that might be a, a clue, as they would say. <laughs> okay. Looking at the ground, looking at, is there any any area here that looks like somebody has gone through it a few times? If there was a raiding party, we would probably see a, a, some kind of worn path on multiple people, you know. I'm going to say low enough that Dilberry doesn't hear it. I'm told to the, to the brothers here. Okay. So, I doubt that it's the tail to. This doesn't seem like something that, that they would send somebody over to kill one person every few weeks over time. And it was a almost a half almost a year ago that this was basically resolved. Retaliation, I think, would have come before winter. Or they would have sent something. Uh, apparently it's resolved because the manor didn't quit expanding. They quit expanding. It, the uh, we still don't know how the mine. Fits you don't into find this, anything. But, okay. but obviously, the violence started at this mine, and it could have continued into this it town. It started at the mine two months ago. The last battle with the Tailda was last fall. Yeah, even early last summer, late last summer. Is it possible that um? <clears throat> Being we were just somewhere with a very deep hole and a scary monster inside, is it possible that the mine dug down deep enough to find a scary monster? It's a really good idea, Rainer. I, I think we should concentrate on something other than the tail to, until we exhaust that. Possibly. I think we should go to the mine. I think you're right. Yeah, I think maybe. Um... Wait until tomorrow morning, and we can head out head out early. Considering it's a league away, um, and we would want to. It's out in the enemy territory, theoretically, right? I mean, it's on the other side of this river, isn't it? Um, you have a map, but I think it is. Um, uh, can you show? It's us hard to tell. Um, it is located in your journal. Is it really? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at it. I just can't. Handouts. Really. Oh, it's oh, under hand handout. The, the local map low ban. Um, well, that's your map. Um, see, guys, look at this on the, you know, on our map that they gave us. The, with yeah, the little it looks like it's directly north. Directly north. No, no, low band. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. You yeah, you cross the river and follow a road up to up I, to the Alba mine. 
Brainerd, it's a really good idea because if something was from the mine, it follows the road down and can come right down the river at the low band and yeah. come in. Um, <clears throat> sorry. And they found, you know, nothing or some scraps. If it yeah. was raiders, they'd, they'd be at a disadvantage taking the bodies unless they were selling them. But then you wouldn't find bloodied scraps of clothing. That sounds like an animal attack. I think also the raiders, I'm just guessing here, but attacking a manor straight out might, wouldn't be in their best interest. No. With this large civilization over here. So that's one thing. I, I think you're right. I think we should go check the mine out. I'm seeing a, this this kind of a thing here. Well, first of all, this one's a little bit out of the way from the river, but it doesn't. It it could be that you know if you come here and come across, you're you're not going to be seen. And then I mean, look at this. This one, this one, and this one. Mm -hmm. Or. And it's at night, at night, at night. The patrols are there. Whatever it is, waits till he goes to sleep and bingo. But the the one thing that I, I an animal doesn't know to cover its tracks. It's not and an it animal. doesn't see if there's I, I think it could be something intelligent. Well, animals cover their tracks to some degree. They, but not if they, and there would be bloody prints. Or, keep in mind, we're not. Oh, I don't know about that, but we're not very good at finding tracks either. Yes, and it could be something big enough to just eat a man. Big enough to eat a man, but not big enough to be seen by anybody on four different occasions. Yeah, uh, isn't that what those uh, the what, what lions do? There's lions. Mountain lions. Yeah, there's lions. It maybe it wasn't just one thing too. Might be maybe there's a lion. Maybe. Let's go to the mine in the morning. Yeah. Uh, is I there think... anything else we can we can investigate today while we're still? We could ask the old woman if she's seen anything. And you already did. That... We already well, did. Yes, but that was when we didn't. She said she has never, she didn't see anything. She told you she didn't see anything. Do you want to check in at the end to see if we can send a rider back just to report what we found so far? Or do you want to just keep doing this? And, and, and... Let's, let's not send a rider till we've met to the mines. Well, okay. yeah, because we haven't actually gotten any news. Right. I mean, there, there's murder. We know more than they know. Right. We know more than they know back at, at the castle. Let's go to the temple and see if there's anybody there. It, don't, it, uh, I'll holler across the river. Don't bury is somebody stay at the temple? Yeah. Well, he, the, the priest. I mean, the beetle is like the is like a lay priest, right? Or he's like a priest assistant. Isn't uh, he? No, he's the he's the cop. He's a, he's a constable. That's what the beetle is. Well, okay. I mean, the, the word beetle means an officer of church. It's a church official assisting the minister. So that's, that's weird. A different, that's a different meaning. There's a uh, different beetle? There's... Yeah, in a medieval manner, it was one who basically took care of the fields and told people what to do. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Oh, anymore. so it's I an don't... older... It's, older it's a very old usage. And... and Derek's use of the term in what's happening in Iron is, is what he says. That's so he's a. I don't know of the beetle being related to the church, though, ever. So. Well, I so, can I can see what the Harn Master says. Oh, that's cool. I'm doing what, whatever it is. Because it might have multiple meanings. Mm hmm. It does say in the past, and I'm looking at one definition of an officer of the law who dealt with small offenses in a local area. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that would so be that's... like many times they'd go up and say the boundaries of somebody's strip within a certain you know big field. 
that type uh, of thing. It would, okay. And who's who didn't do what they're supposed to do? And, yeah. Okay. okay. But you know, in a village of twenty-five or ten houses, or what's this one? Yeah, twenty-some places. It's the around. beetle. Okay, on this is what it is in Harn Harnwell. Mm -hmm. It says on many manors, the reeve is assisted by a beetle. The position is traditionally held by a half valeen and is primarily responsible for the preservation and sowing of seeds saved from each crop, a particularly stressful job in the times of famine. The beetle impounds tenants' sheep and cattle that stray and makes sure their owners are fined. The beetle also usually responsible for collecting fines levied by the manor the beetle may also enjoy minor privileges and is excusing his normal field obligation. Well, that's good. That's exactly what I have learned from yeah. medieval history. So that's cool. Makes sense. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's but he's the closest thing they've got to a, yeah. a, law, a, a law man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, if you guys want to go back, I think we should go at least see what's what the priest is. Oh, okay. So you just want to go to the temple real quick? Yeah, we want to go to the temple because, okay. one, is it secure? Is it a secure building at night? And Well, it's a chapel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how secure it is. I mean, it has a, it has a door. It has like, it, it looks like a church. Is it stone? building it is wood almost every building in this area is made of wood okay. yeah almost but yeah this one is a wooden building and it has a friar charl that's the name charl yeah that's his name charl can we do we just go in or do we normally Bouncer presence since it's a chapel. Well, the beetle, the beetle says, "Go on in." He's, oh, I'm sure okay. he's. It's midday. I mean, I'm sure there's no problem. Yeah. Well, let's go in and see if uh, Fire Charles is in. Yeah, he, 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 I don't think he's left uh, for his rounds mm. uh, today. Uh, every couple of days, he will um, visit nearby villages. Does his rounds. You know, just to, uh -huh. you know, wish everybody luck and, you know, make sure their crops are in good stead and all that. But yeah, okay, so the beetle uh, opens the door for you. Doughberry of Messina. We'll go in. Yeah. And you can see that um, this church, this church or temple, uh, chapel actually, of Peony has no garden. It's a little unusual. You you've seen um, most well in your hometown. Uh, your peony, your priest at peony, uh, had his own garden for growing his own food and stuff like that. This has zero of that. Okay, you go in. There's there is a priest in there or a friar, friar tuck, you know. He's got uh, the rope around his waist. My son, are you? Um, this this is not Lorani, but you are welcome here. <laughs> yes. Uh, have you? You of course you know of the murders in town. Uh, it's a sad day. Yes, yeah. we lost another one last night. Hack on. I'm preparing his funeral right now. It'll be in with his. It'll be a. Uh, it'll only be a symbol of his passing because we don't have his body. I don't see any way for him to cross to the afterlife without uh, the required um, moolah, <laughs> without the required coinage. What, um, what does the Harn religion say about if you don't cross over? Is it like Greek Ooh. where you're just wandering? 
You're asking a religion roll. Go ahead and make that religion roll on me. Oh my goodness. And every faith has a different opinion. So who are we asking? Lorani, because Lorani. that's who you are. That's right. I have no idea. Well, would you roll? Would you, would you roll? A fail. Uh, marginal fail. It was marginal. Yeah, you're okay. Uh, marginal means you get some information, but just not... It, you, you're not blanking. You're like, oh, yeah. But I'm supposed oh. to be so pious. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> Should have threw a piety point into it. Okay. I am in the wrong place, apparently. Ah, here it is. I found it. Um... Divine Intervention. That's not it. Let me get Afterlife. Characters die. Okay. All right. Um, every character has a soul. This is part of your beliefs. Okay. Um... A non-physical portion of you. When you die, your soul journeys to the afterlife. Most characters commit your soul to one of the gods. Um, those who die godless or out of divine grace, embark on a death journey, unless saved by a funeral rite. Uh, there is a funeral rite called Passage of the Soul. And souls that have not completed their death journey may wait um, before they make their journey. Uh, souls that wait are called ghosts. Um, we ask the friar. You could just ask him, but ask uh, the friar, what is there consecrated ground? Is that what you're concerned with off the body? I have to be able to perform the right, oh, okay. right, the right. Um, but uh. I, I, I do not know what his spirituality was. I can only guess. And I think he was fairly spiritual. But if he if he's not spiritual enough, he needs this right. But if he if he was super pious, he wouldn't need the right. He could just go directly to heaven. Was that the case with uh, Dudo's wife and Polo's daughter? Oh, I performed... I Well... I did their right in abstentia, but it's not going to be, it might or, I don't know. I don't think that would work. I think you have to be, be there. Um, is, is uh, Doughberry still with us? Yeah, yeah, he's there. So Doughberry, is, is there dogs in the village that would bark? Something crazy weird came into the, the village. We we don't have any dogs. I know that's kind of crazy, huh? I've got pigs and cows and sheep and one bull. Um, there. Okay, let's check. Ox, cows, sheep, pigs, 
sheep, pigs, sheep, pigs, cows, cows, pigs, sheep, pigs, ox, pigs, cows, pigs, sheep, cow, ox, pig, pigs, cows. I'm checking everybody. Oh, one person's got one person has one cow and one pig. Okay, uh, two cows, sheep, pigs, bit of bit of it. No dogs. Not even in the manor. Hold on, let's check the manor. I need to get a dog sometime. Can't trust a world without dogs. Yep, Great. there are no dogs in this village. Your Great. village, your lord has dogs. Right, right. It's in the right in the manor. There's a bunch. Uh, Dobry, I have to ask you a question. That's okay. Odd to me. Sure. If there's some murders going on over a period of a couple months, these murders, okay. why, why do you think that the manor house is closed off with a drawbridge up? Uh, if, if I was to guess, Sir Cathal, um, ever since his last failure it really struck him bad he he wasn't a drunk like he is now he drinks a lot lately last month or so he's really been setting himself in the hog's head but earlier he's set up as if he's expecting an attack does he fear from the manners well no i mean the, he's the people well maybe maybe he's afraid of the murders Maybe he doesn't want it to come into his manor, you know. Do you um, feel that? The, yeah, I don't know. The townspeople are up in arms, or the townspeople? Well, they are up in arms, but they're not. They they don't ha have any weapons, uh, but they are mad at him, and they even wrote a letter requesting that he do something about the murders before they harvest the crops and that enraged Sir Cathal even more and he arrested the Reeve and I think he said he was going to hang him in a few days if we don't if, I, if, if, if it doesn't stop but I can't I, I, I don't have any clues except these bloody rags and all that does is just yeah do you believe these are supernatural forces, or do I you think they're think demons? That... I think they're demons. But there's no proof that they're demons. I have faith. Mm -hmm. uh, fires. Is, is there? And I, I'm going to. Doberry's in there with the room with us, right? At the same time. Yeah. In the church in the yeah. chapel. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're going to need. I'm going to need. I mean, we need some food and water and stuff for the four men that are watching the horses. Who can take care of that for us? Can the can the chapel supply them with? No, with... no, the chapel wouldn't supply that. But um, I can uh, I can go to the manor and maybe get supplies. Could you do that, please? Yeah, or you know, you can set them up in the inn or whatever. We could. I'm not gonna pay for why the food. To, to, why don't we? Somebody's set... gonna. Well, they have their own food. You okay, know, you that? know they have. They brought oh, a bag. Okay. They brought a bag with them. They wouldn't have probably toted the water, but we can send. Them There's a river to, right there, so. Yeah, we can send them to get the water for the. For the. Horses. Well, they oh, just yeah, they'll yeah. just they'll just water the horses in the river. Okay, then I'm not going to worry about those guys if they're okay yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. Are they are they okay for a couple of days? Did we notice? You sus they also have silver in their pockets, but yes. They brought they each they, they brought a bag with them. You can ask them. Well, I mean, they're only a few. The they're out. less than a hundred yeah. feet away. We'll just holler to one of them. Hey, yeah, come over here. Just okay. one of them. Yeah, yeah, he um, yeah he comes over. Because yeah, I see we're right there at the common. Uh, yeah. Are you guys all set for food and water and stuff for a couple days? We're going to spend the night here. 
Yeah, we could probably three days, maybe. Okay. Then uh, we'll keep track. Thank you. Okay. I, if if it goes under th over three days, we'll just, you know, let the yeah. Lord and the Manor know. Keep a receipt for your taxes. Or, right. <laughs> um, what is he talking well, about? <laughs> yeah. And with the beetle, he he lives right there in number two. We should be safe. And the hey, church, hey, Father, you know. The these four people that were attacked. It doesn't seem that they may have anything in common amongst them that do you think they were just randomly unlucky? Well, the one thing, yes. The one thing that they have in common is they live in this town uh, oh. and they work the rye fields. And yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's random. That's why everybody's, uh, uh, you know, up in arms. Everybody's afraid. Okay. Because it happened over by the mill and by the other end of town and, yeah, everywhere. Do you know anything of the violence at the mines or is that too a little too far away to really know much? Well, I know that uh, a few months back that uh, some miners got killed. And so the guild sent a messenger to close the mines and get out of there so they don't lose any more miners. When the miners got killed, <clears throat> did that go much like the townsfolk? Exactly that... like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was exactly like that. Okay. They would turn up, disappear. They would. They would be disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be disappeared. I, I think. Let's go to the inn and. Uh, uh, Get a, a room for the night and uh, set out early in the morning and walk up to the mine. Okay, so where are you going to stay? Check in at the end. end and see if okay. we. See so when you walk like when her. you walk by the manor, you can hear shouting coming from inside the yes. manor walls. You hear uh, a a Sir Cathal yelling at someone called Toad. Toad. And he's Toad, and he's like, "Damn you, Toad! I told you I needed elderberry instead of this cheap cherry." Yes, my lord, and you can hear his voice. It's the squire. The wine. He calls him Toad. Okay. One of the reasons why you think that might be the case is because he had more than one wart. And you go past the metalsmith, and you go to the inn, which I think I showed you a picture of. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> you go in to the inn. Here, I'm going to copy and paste the party token. And... There you go. You're in the inn. It's a horribly small place. Um, Single story? Dull story? It looks like uh, half of it is single story and, and half of it's two story. Okay. Yeah, it, it has kind I of guess. a L shape kind of deal going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's called the Embaran Warrior Inn because this place used to be the Embaran, like mercenaries, the Embaran River and all that. Um, okay, so you go to the inn. The innkeeper says, what's up? No, he says, um, he says, what number am I? I think I'm number 16. Uh, you have um, an innkeeper and his younger brother. Uh, Val, Val, Valdane 
and his younger brother, which is the ostler. Hey, welcome to the the Warrior Inn. Would you like? Uh, what would you like, sir? We'd need a place to spend the night. All right. Is it possible? Absolutely. Um, for you three. Yes. Okay, that'll be one silver. Is okay, um, yeah. and are meals included or are they separate? Uh, meals are separate. They're okay. one thinning. One and one. One silver for the night. One thinning for a meal. Is that a farthing? Farthing. Okay. A quarter. I'll pay for the. I'll just go ahead and give them one for the, for the rooms. Okay. I'll get. I'll get dinner this time. Okay. 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 And to be honest, I don't know what else we do other than we could ask patrons in the thing if they saw anything or anybody that's around if they saw anything regarding the murders. Um, yeah, I guess. It, are there any other people in the inn currently? Um, nope. It's just you three and the innkeeper and his brother. We can ask them. Yeah. Innkeeper. Yeah. Innkeeper. Yeah. Regarding these, the murders here, what have you heard? That might I, help us try to find who did this. I heard it was Grizzly. Um, and I don't know how these uh, barbarians are sneaking into our town and mm -hmm. just abducting our people. I don't know how they're doing it because nobody sees anybody. They're very sneaky. So, you know about last night with the... Yeah, the, Har Harkon or Halcon Harkon. or whatever. They, Hakon, H-A-K-O-N. Hack on. Did, do you know what happened to Dodo's wife? Did is anybody talking about what happened? Did how did they know she she's just missing, or was there also yeah. bloody things? There, her, she had a bloody dress missing. Yeah, she was missing. Was it the same with Bolo's daughter Grundel? Did she also have bloody clothing left behind or pieces? Whose daughter? Bolos, 22. The daughter Grundle. Boel? Yeah, B O E L. I'm sorry. Bo I so I, I might have said Bowls with a. You said Bolos, so I wrote down B O L O. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, um, Grundle. Yeah, Grundle. She disappeared without a trace. Not even a trace. Right. How did they know she didn't just run away? Well, all of her belongings were behind, left behind. What about the, and then the eldest son of Gerdur, also the same thing? No, no evidence left behind? No, he had bloody, he had bloody rags as well. Does it look, you know, is everybody talking about like where the rags and shreds torn up? We, we did see the rags that from, uh, from You have Hayden. not, you have not seen any rags. We, you were, you were offered to see rags. I said I asked when I looked at the rags if there was the blood was dried or fresh. That wasn't so, you well, didn't you didn't look you asked him if the blood was dried or fresh and you asked him to show okay, you I'll, where I'll the look, rags were I'll found. I'll even go back to Hakon and see if I, I want to see the rags. I'm gonna stay here and to and, uh, Dewberry? Well I'm sorry, Dewberry, yeah. Okay. Do uh Dewberry. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean you got uh, your room paid sure. for apparently already. Is everybody going with him? I'm going to stay here and keep talking to these guys. Okay. Yeah, so you... you we should have looked at the rags, though. Oh. We should have. Well, I'll go with him. Okay. Thank you. So you two head over to Dewberry's house. And yeah. Yeah, and he's like, oh, you're back. Uh, uh, find anything out? You got well, your room at the I inn? Yeah, okay. it's, it's a nice place. Is Did we see Not the really. rags, please? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I, I kept them as evidence. Yes. And uh, there's like a couple of sets that are like super old and dried. And then there's the one that's fresh and still wet. Right? And he goes, that's that's hack-on stuff right there. Is it torn, ripped, 
in place? What does it look like as far as... Hmm. What kind of skill would that be to investigate the the rags? Hmm. What do you, what do you, what do you, them. what do you think? Yeah, what kind of skill would you say it would be? Yeah, Does they're torn, they're you? torn, but it's like, what did oh, to the... see if I notice anything other than tear? Yeah, I mean, how, how would they be, are they cut? Are they chewed through? Or are they, you know, that kind of stuff. Could we use our weapon craft for that? Upkeep of our own? Nah, we know let's go ahead and make there. a textile craft roll. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Either that or, because I don't think there's like any kind of like investigation type skill, because um, that's too generic. Um, and look at that They're embalming. Torn rags, though. Um, torn. Yeah, I get. Or no, okay, do this, because um, you suspect it's a monster, right? I want to see if there's something like a pattern. Are there like three claw marks through it? Is there... Okay. So you have, you, have, you have two choices. You can make a textile roll or you can make an animal craft roll. I guess it wouldn't be animal craft. Hang on. It would be... It would be... I would allow hide work if you have that. And survival. No. Tracking. Yep, tracking. So it'd be I know it's weird, rope, right? So it's either tracking textile. Uh hide work or Rainer, do you have any of those skills? I'm unskilled in all of them. Hey, man, I guess they set the wrong people to investigate this then. All right. 5%? Um, I guess 5%. <laughs> I yeah, do I mean, have... You know, I look like a tailor. I mean, my tracking's at 15. It's not definitely not great. Well, yeah, you guys are knights. You're not, you know... Uh, but then again, knights are supposed to know everything. Okay, Arnie got a 38. Oh, Bert... You rolled an unskilled? Yep. Okay, okay. So, um, it's torn. Uh, you, you don't you don't know... Can I count it, how many tears are in it? No? 13? Shredded. Pretty bad. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's, the it's, other one's dried up. Are they from the other murders? Yeah. No bear? Are yeah. they also torn up like that? They are torn up, yeah. All right. Um, I suspect it wasn't a spear... You know, from normally the tribesmen use spears, and it, if it was a spear, the guy would have had to have just stabbed him like a bunch of times to tear his clothing like that. So I don't think it's a spear. Um, same thing with a sword. If it was a sword, he would have been just hacking a guy, you know. So it, it, it has to be a demon. I'm starting to think you're right. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's just, you know. What do you think, Rainer? I think, um, I think your initial thing when we were across the river is spot on. For, not for yeah. This I think it's got to be something abnormal. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. Very helpful. Abby normal. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, so you go back to the inn. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Gaimar, what are you doing at the inn while they're away? They're not gone very long, but while you're there. These are the first people that have not thought it was demons. So that intrigued me because I, I, I don't disbelieve in those things. I just think of the more simple solution is that men tend to be more evil than the and common than monsters are. Yeah, um, you've so never uh, you've never encountered a monster. Um, you heard about them? They're in folklore, and they're they're in places. And, uh, the the savages that you mentioned have they ever in the past abducted people like this? Because 
it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like that would be their normal way of doing things. They would just come in and, and attack and kill people and leave them as a sign of their unhappiness. That's so exactly that... right. I have never, um, I, I wouldn't have thought that they would sneak into our village and take people. That's not their M.O. Unless something changed. You know well, they're they not did. they're not into capturing people. I mean, what if they were if they if they if they were capturing people, wouldn't they uh, hold them ransom? Yeah, like try to make a trade, or are they capturing them to eat them? No, I don't. I mean, that's crazy. They're not cannibals. They do know the gargan though. The Tailda are the gargan. The, the Tailda are on speaking terms with the Gargan. What is the Gargan? It is a Harnik orc. Oh. And they do eat oh, people, right. right? They like to eat people? Maybe. <laughs> that is a possibility. And are they as just as intelligent as, as people? I wouldn't they say that. Their... I wouldn't. Say, yeah, maybe. I mean, they've got their, they're they're barbarians. Well, they're, they're they're a lot like they're on the same footing. They're all barbarians. But they could be sneaky if they wanted. They they have they, enough. They are sneaky, and their skin is hard to see at night. Do they live underground? They do. I think we've solved it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all. We're not even there, Raynard. We're walking. All of the sheriff. This we're walking. over. We're walking, talking about how shitty we are in <laughs> tracking, animal crafting, <laughs> tanning, hide work. Like, we went to the wrong school for this job. He went to conclusion he, school. He jumps to, to conclusions. Okay, no. What do um, they, yeah, Gargan, go ahead. What do they know about the... Um, about the incidents at the mine with the workers being killed there, could it have been Gargan that were um, maybe uh, the... We're, we're kind of far from any Gargan tribes unless they migrated over to this way. But what um, if they were in the mines and uh, somehow they opened up a, a way into their underground uh, lair and now they've realized that there's a close food supply a small group of gargan it would have to be because if it was large they probably would give themselves away but if they're small they would sneak around they wouldn't want to be seen because that would be dangerous you're the knight i'm just an innkeeper <laughs> Well, I'm, I don't I'm know enough up. about the Gargans. Um, I don't think they eat people, but then again, I've never seen one. I think they're more like barbarians, you know, so I don't think, I don't know, maybe they do. I know they live, they have like underground, kind of like, uh, oh, they'll dig a hole not like a cave network usually as far, from what i know um they'll have a village but the village will have a bunch of holes question regarding they might the be mind. connected though i don't know yeah, question if i would if anything I would for you my lord <laughs> no, no, not to him. This is like an internal question oh, oh, I have. Okay. My, okay. If my character would would know who is responsible, I, it sounds like Nevin ha might have told you something or whatever because he might have he's ha did have encounters with the Gargan. But no, who's responsible for this mine? It's it's sort of set away from this town. Obviously, it's a, the sheriff is overseeing this mine. The sheriff has the entire shire. Right. He's but got this Loban, the, the, the manor of Loban is responsible for the mine. Uh, and and, so and the, it's in his land, so he's supposed to protect it as well. So the guild doesn't offer 
they rely on the local lords to protect their workers. They don't have their own protection. They do. They hire they people. hire mercenaries to protect okay. their mines and stuff. The this town was originally set up as a keep built by right. built by the mine mining guild and there were five whole mercenaries here. <laughs> So it doesn't sound like they had a ton of trouble if they only needed five mercenaries. Right. Um, I was just curious who might, who might, why nobody has done anything about this violence at the mine. It seems. I know our, kind of, our, our Lord, he's sitting on his hands. I, I would think the mining guild, they have them. This is their livelihood. They should be a, this is what they this is what the mine this, Yeah, this is what the mining guild did. Close it up and let's go tell the sheriff. They told the sheriff and the sheriff said, "Hey guys, can you go check out this mine situation for the guild?" So yes, the guild did get somebody to go look at it. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we, I'll tell the innkeeper, we intend to go to the mine tomorrow. Um, okay. Do you have any, any advice, any, anything we should be aware of? Bring a torch. I don't know if we'll be going deep into the mine, but we'll, I don't know if there's anybody even there to talk to you guys. Is there anybody even there? There shouldn't, the there talk? shouldn't be anybody at the mines. It should be empty. Because when so the miners pulled out, they the mine. do what? <laughs> we're gonna go explore the mine. That's I, what you I, guys want to do. We're not there yet. As far as I know, we're still walking back, right? You can be no. back if he wants to ask you when you come back. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely. We're, yeah, I'm so you're you're back. Any? Have you learned anything? You know, it it looks like it looks like something. Just I mean, as far as our guess is, we couldn't. We we don't know for a fact. But three of the four murders left behind pieces of clothing bloodied and torn. That doesn't seem like something a person would do. It doesn't seem like an attack from a person. Even Doberry was saying it doesn't look like sword, it doesn't look like spear, it doesn't look... It just, it's uncommon to murder a person and leave torn clothing behind. And what kind of a weapon and attack would that be? It's more like something a wild thing, like wild thing. And, and so that's what we learned. We, I'm anxious to go to the mine and I'm anxious to go down that mine and investigate the mine. Well, question to you too, if this is a wild thing, obviously it's aware enough to hide or try to avoid being seen. Mm -hmm. Where would it, it, it seems to strike at night, where, where would it be hiding during the daytime? In the, the mine. mine. That's 12, that's a, that's a league away. That is a, that's 12, quite a journey to make on a daily basis. 12 miles. Well, I mean. Is, is, it, it, yeah. is it daily? Very, very kind of, I have, I, it's not daily. You're, yeah, I just immediately thought of yeah, that. That's true. It's not daily. It, it, it is. Every few days. There's only been four, yeah. It's been four over the course of over a month at least. So yeah. right, and right. so that's that's close enough to strike, but far enough that obviously nobody's going to like, see it. Yeah, and we're we're saying, oh no, it must be somewhere closer. You're right, and and I think also it's if it's something that's eating this and eating, it probably is also getting animals and whatnot. This is the closest civilization to the mind is right. this manner isn't that right that's right that's an innkeeper will it concur yep. yeah in innkeep yep. where could we get torches or lanterns to uh to help us if we went to look inside the mine i can sell I you a, a torch he's got a lantern okay. <laughs> you, you have a lantern well yeah. i well we i want a lantern. lantern you have a lantern with oil yes okay I have three I, small jars of oil. There it is. Well, I, I would like to purchase a few torches, torches from you as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, just as just I mean, I case. was I was saving these, but um, I can I can make more or get more. 
from whoever in town makes them or the or the next traveling merchant <laughs> do we know how it's what one of, penny how per, long does a torch typically last uh it's it made by the chandler um normally it's like an hour but yeah you can it's only one penny for a torch and it's one pound how many does he have to sell uh over 10 how many do you oh, need i'd like three yeah let's get let's get six i'd, I'd like well, to I'll have some myself I'll carry three and then you know get what you want yeah we have the lantern we have three torches and four then then if we got split up and then crazy happened at least each of us could and you can them. leave whatever you don't want to carry with you with your uh teamsters okay yeah we're gonna take the cart there correct no we don't want to take the cart we i know we talked about this you can take it to the mine because that is there is a road that goes up to the mine yeah i think we should just because there might you want to take one of the carts yeah because or do you want to take both of them what what do we need that for well well, yeah horses are good 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 eating yeah why risk those guys i don't see any useful well because one thing we're hoping to find is the remains of these people even if we can just say we we can just say we found them and come back and say we found them we don't have to bring them back yeah that could be later or there may be there were no remains the the miners didn't find any remains i know religiously those remains are important so that they can be interred so just in case just like the ghost in olicon he needs his bones Taking a wagon with horses and and then having it sitting outside the mine while we're down in the mine, what I don't see the purpose of that. But we have in case there's gold. This walk. If there's gold, how are you going to carry it back? You need the wagons. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Not, I'm yeah, kidding. I'm not worried about gold, but I'm concerned about our personal weight and and we. we well, you can leave whatever gold. you're not carrying with you. You can leave it behind. Well, wait. We've walked all the way from the manor to Olicon, and it wasn't a problem. Right, carrying extra lances. We car- we went, <laughs> we went many, many, many hundred miles about. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that is. Hey, this is one. This is twelve miles. Is we can do this in the morning. Right. So well, we're up. Yeah, I'm also, hoping we can get past walking and buy some horses eventually. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> we're going to do it unless we're earning 50 uh, pennies of every couple days, though, I mean. And if we got to sp- spend money at the inn, at least this inn is a nice, reasonable country inn. If we're wrong and it's not something in the mine, uh-huh. then it would be better to have them with us anyways because then they're not at town to get attacked. They're somewhere we can keep an eye on them. We can't keep an eye on them or in the mine. Uh, we can't keep an eye on them in the mine if we're, if they're in town either. Yeah, that's why they should just stay in town. Strength in numbers, okay. I mean, at least they got the beetle and the fryer and and that in the town. If you want, and the beetle will hold your stuff too in his house if you want. Like, if you want to leave something in town, you're afraid no, for its safety, you can leave it in his house. Okay. But I, I just think that the wagons and the, the guys are better in town. Yeah, yeah. They're, we're keeping an eye on them. Well, I can't guarantee their safety because, uh-huh. you know, he's not with you. But, yeah, you understand. But you guys are going to go deal with it. So, if you think it's in yeah. the inn or the, the end in the yeah. in the mind I, I knew it was the innkeeper all along yeah well this is a good time i started thinking how creepy it would be if it was the friar uh, i go in the inn and use divine sense <laughs> you can if you are you a are you um do you have divine grace <laughs> actually i do but i'm not going to use that okay divine grace uh allows you a modifier to certain skills and it, and you can you can ask for actually divine intervention. 
But um, okay, just so I'm clear, the 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 Lord the, of the Manor thinks it's radical radical peasants, right? That no. are behind this. No. I, I thought that's why he arrested the Reeve. No, he arrested the Reeve because he refused to, uh, because he delivered a message from the villagers to harvest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. simply because they didn't want to work anymore unless right. they felt safe. Okay. Right, right. The Reeve basically presented an ultimatum to he, the Lord. Which the is Lord thinks it could be the tilde because he thinks it might be going back and forth. Like he tried to expand, they attacked. I sent some mercenaries to deal with it, but then they slaughtered a village. And so maybe they're coming back with retaliation. That's what the manor lord thinks. Most villagers thinks it's demons. Most, not all, but most of them think it's demons. And some villagers think it's also the Tilda. Yeah. But they don't I, know. They just don't know. I think, yeah, these people are, you know, don't, I hate to insult them, but they're more uneducated. So they're. Exactly. That's the them. point. They just don't have any education. A they don't, more they don't supernatural know. explanation for they're something. not they're not stupid or have low intelligence right. they just don't know any better yeah yeah they're, they're going with which is i think would be even would be common throughout all history is they know how to farm and you know, <laughs> it's always going to be some elaborate system and this is what we're going to well, call it because uh, in the next session, you guys are going to head up to the mine and, uh, and try to s continue to solve this, this murder mystery. Uh, and you think it might be a critter. So I know that you guys are going to be on the, uh, on the lookout for like tracks or signs of monsters, maybe gargons, um, or maybe the tailda, but that, that you probably have ruled out. I know Bernie. Bernie's ruled that out. At this point. At this in point. This, in, in, until we exhaust the mind possibility. Now the everyone does reason... get. Everyone does get a, uh, a point, that you can spend on your character, you know, for uh, rolling a die, just to, to try to get an improvement, and I'm going to advance the clock to the twenty first. So we'll actually start on the 21st next week. We did <clears throat> use rhetoric skill, right? You did. You did. Okay. You, to the squire trying to get past the gate. There you go. Okay. So that's my... Okay. That goes up. Among now you're at 35. Well, Awareness. Oh. Don't worry. You got 25 points coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Well, I'm worried. <laughs> There's also, um, okay, just to close out, don't forget, um, there's a few things that might have just kind of glazed past you, but I want to remind you, because you might want to pursue this in some way next week. Hey, Bert, uh, awareness went up by, there you go, you're 50. The first house you encountered was abandoned, and it was your home. And and your father's not there anymore. Yeah, no, Geimar was a little was a, personally a little shocked, I think, to see that. And he's been sort of putting it in the back of his mind because he doesn't want to accept that his right. father could be dead right. or something. So he's been ignoring it, but it it I is. think They're I coming. think your father is a demon, and he's been could kidnapping be. people and you know, eating them. No, I'm just kidding. He's a werewolf. He's a werewolf. werewolf. We could, ask, could be that. Uh, maybe the old lady being the neighbor, she might know the story of what happened yeah. at the house. Yeah. So that's she, that's she might a, be a wealth of information. On that's a story for next week. Probably not, okay. because you guys are probably going to go to the mine. But uh, yeah. okay. Yep. I think we're good to go. And next week we might actually have uh, someone else. Okay, so uh, there's a gentleman, Django. Um, 
he says he's reading his Harn Master book. So, yeah, I will um, communicate with him. We'll probably make characters sometime this week. And uh, we'll work him into the story somehow. Maybe maybe he's the demon. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a great night. And yeah, oh, right here. Here it is. One hex is five Harnick Leagues, which is 12 miles. Okay. So a Harnick League is not 12 miles. A Harnick League is what? Three miles? It's two and a half. Two and a half miles. It's not very far. Oh, yeah. that is. Yeah. Yeah, that's an hour's walk. Okay. It's two and a half, two and a half miles to the league. Yeah, the yeah. Hour. Yeah, so you're looking at an hour walk. I wasn't yeah. sure whether you saw a hex and said it was one league or so That's what I was thinking. But no, I'm okay. I'm wrong. It's five leagues. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got um, it right here above where it says Harn religious calendar. Okay. You know, it says one hex oh, equals yeah, five yeah, Harnick yeah, leagues. Well. 20 kilometers or 12.5 miles. All right. Mike, you might be a landholder now. A little <laughs> cottage. A little cottage up here. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, inherited, I've inherited. I've inherited now, my That's right. Cottage. Now get to work in the... Get, get me my rye. No, it's okay. You you guys can call me uh, Master. Master Guy. Uh, Lord guy, guy. My, uh, <laughs> King of his castle. That's right. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. All right. Bye bye. It was fun. All right, guys. Um, before I close out, I usually give a little outro. Um, I'm currently playing a, uh, a a campaign that I've written, but to get everybody kind of together and started into the campaign, I'm actually starting them off with two pre-written scenarios or two pre-written um, uh, modules so that they can get their feet wet and understand the rules and uh, kind of like a tutorial. And the first one was the tournament in Olocon where they uh, did a little bit of the legal action and meeting some some nobles in the area. They didn't really pursue much of it. And then, because uh, they didn't joust or anything like that, which I was really hoping they would so that they could learn the rules of jousting or, you know, the, the mechanics. And then from there, we went into this next scenario, which they're playing... Um, and this is kind of a halfway between the printed scenario and the start of my written campaign. And it is an epic campaign. I do anticipate it lasting for quite some time, um, you know, with a big bad and uh, world ending villain and stuff like that. But they're just not there yet. Okay, so we are, uh, I should move this to Loban, because that's where they're at. They're getting ready to go up to the tin mine. So I'll just mark that. All right, guys, I will catch you next week.